Welcome everybody. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late. I was actually doing some housework and also giving uh, Kathy uh, a few extra minutes to get here. She uh, had Pilates, so she'll be here any moment. Let me do something real quick. Send her a link. All right. I think that worked. Hopefully that worked. Okay. Waiting for everybody to get here as well. And I have a few new things to share. So, and today we're going to work and play with the dilution collage sheets. And just see what we can make with them today. We'll have a lot of fun creating with these. They're silly and they're fun. This, is, this would be fun to play with. And um, I'm going to recap some of the glazing distressings. And I have a few things from Zonder to show. So. And eat Dr. Pepper because, again, it's early. <laughs> Hi, Zane. How are you? Hi, Eileen. Kathy will be few minutes late. She's at uh, she's at Pilates, so I'm on my own for a little bit. <laughs> Hi, Helen. How's everybody doing today? It's cold still here. It always gets warm on the weekends and then gets cold again and rains during the week. <laughs> it's been like past like three weeks. It's been consistent. So, well, at least Tom's had some good weather on his days off on the weekends. <laughs> Let's make a mess before she gets here. That sounds like a good plan. <laughs> Oh, we always make a mess. Spent last night, stayed up really late, um, just cleaning everything off and trying to get organized. Everything just gets so disgusting. <laughs> Sprays get everywhere and paint and it gets bad. And then also just the normal dust that you get in your house. And then also, I think I get in a hurry and when I'm streaming and I just stick stuff here and there, I was going through all my mugs sitting to the le uh, left of me and realized that they're all jumbled up and not organized anymore. And I was doing some of that. Hi, Devin. Popping in before work. Thanks for coming in. You might like starting masses. Yeah, you bought all those sprays. You're gonna have you, you were definitely gonna have to start liking masses since you bought all those sprays. For sure. Good morning, Sherry. Glad you're here. I hope you're doing okay. Hi Elaine. I'm drinking my Dr. Pepper in the morning, <laughs> trying to wake up. I see it's diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Let's be specific. So I think I'm caught up downloading my Wonderlust classes now and my... Uh, uh, Wonderlust and the Life Book classes. I'm caught up on downloading them and printing them out. I'm not caught up on working on any of it, but I'm <laughs> caught up on downloading it and printing them out. So I worked on that too earlier in the week, getting caught up on that stuff. And uh, like I said last night, I was up like one in the morning just trying to uh, just get all my stuff organized and things clean and yeah, it's yeah, it's better. It's better than what it was. I still need to work on some stuff, but it's better. 
uh, it's hard to maintain all your art stuff and do all your normal house stuff besides this. You know, it's hard to keep up with it all. Hanging in there today. Today is seven months. I, yeah, I know. I'm sure you have good days and you have bad days, Sherry. Thanks for being with us. I hope that when you come here that you have a chance to laugh and have fun and take your mind off things for a while. I haven't... I haven't forgot about you. <laughs> Try to keep things upbeat. So hopefully that helps you take your mind off things. There's been the, you know, there's a lot of streamers to follow and I enjoy, I enjoy hanging out everybody's houses and their, you know, everyone's personalities are different and everyone's styles are different and it's very fun to do. Um, yeah. And they're permanent. Yes, the set sprays are permanent, which is really uh, nice. So I am I am kind of tempted to get those. I haven't decided if I'm going to or not. Still deciding. Hi, Dot. Hi, Nana. Hi, Marita. Hi, Lori. <laughs> I need them. I have so many sprays. I have a cartload of sprays and I need more sprays. That's what Eileen says. I need more. I already have like two carts of paint. Plus I have them stored off in another thing out there. Um, I am waiting my fin waxes um, did not come uh, yesterday, so they may come today, but if, if they do, it'll probably be after I'm done streaming, and um, I have another order from Joggles um, I'm waiting for, which would be next week, so um, I got some new, um, some new stuff that isn't too exciting, like, but I need it. I got some new, um, New Tim Holtz scissors. Um, one pair of my red ones are so gross and so bad. It is just I put that pair in the, the other bedroom. So that way, I mean, they still work, but they're so cake full of paint and glue and stuff. So I put those in the other bedroom. Um, so I'd have, you know, when I'm sometimes I work in there. You're you are a sprayaholic. You totally are a sprayaholic. Oh, will be there tomorrow, your new order? I don't know when my, I, of course, I haven't been on my email yet today. So, um, I was cleaning the house. I have a guy coming sometime this afternoon to look, try to, to look at something I need fixed in the house. So, hopefully, Kat, and then Kathy will be here. So, when that happens, um, she can take over. So I had to clean my bathroom and make my bed and, you know, I mean, I had to do all this like cleaning and uh, clean up the kitchen stuff, like just a bunch of general cleaning before we got here. I hate when people come over and your bed's not made or nothing, you know what I mean? So normally I don't have to do all that before I come on, but today I did. So, yeah, so I got some new like regular scissors and I got these and, um, yeah, I was uh, just in general, and I got a little cute little collage book the other day, which I forgot. I bought this because Popo bought it. It's really tiny. This is tiny. I was not expecting this to be so tiny. Look, it's like the palm. It's like the size of my palm of my hand. <laughs> so I got this. I was like, it's itty bitty. So. Hi, Janet. You lost track of time? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, they're, you know, they feel, they feel lighter than the red ones. They feel like they're lighter weight um, than the red ones. Let me get my other red ones. I'll show you. Like, these are not as bad as my other ones. 
but my other my other red ones they've definitely gone into the they're in my other room so when you look at the new ones yeah, I feel like these are slightly, the handles are slightly smaller. It's hard to show on camera. The handles seem slightly smaller. And these are heavier and these are lighter. So they, I don't know if they're just made cheaper or is this made better. I don't know. I guess I'll find out. But my red ones are heavier than these. And my handles are slightly, maybe not, they seem slightly bigger but maybe it's just because i don't have them caked with the uh, paint <laughs> they feel different but they feel much they do feel lighter so there is something different about it so we'll find out so but i do like the fact that they're black um and not red i do like the color better i think black looks nicer than the red and uh i mean because i already have like you know, I bought, yeah, I bought these. These are black, and then my spray bottle is black. And so black kind of goes more with my stuff anyway. So, oh, they're making uh, scissors for lefties? No, I didn't know that. Okay, you're going to sit and watch while you're on your phone. Okay, Marita, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Hi, Kimberly. Oh, hi, Dar. Let's see if there's anyone else I miss coming in. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I am sorry a few minutes late. I was trying to give Kathy a little extra time, but she's going to be a little bit late anyway, even with that. Hi, Queen Pam. But I was cleaning. I don't like cleaning when I first get up. Then I got to start cleaning. <laughs> I don't like doing that first thing in the morning. I don't like it at all. <laughs> Your friend of yours is a lefty and she loves... I didn't realize they made left-handed scissors. Actually, I didn't know that. I didn't know you made left-handed ones. <laughs> Hi, Dee Dee. <clears throat> I thought we'd play with some uh, dilution collage sheets today and see what we can make with these and uh, play with them, have fun. I um, I'm waiting for some other stuff to come in, but we got plenty to do. And plus, I may also play with my Marlene um, masks today. I haven't played with those yet. Hi, Dawn. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, um, this, do you have this book, uh, Dee Dee? It's really, really tiny. <laughs> I was like, it's tiny. So Popo, like the hottie Popo, she has a channel here on YouTube. And she's friends with Laura, who's a Jersey crafter. And there's Kathy. And she bought this book, so um, I decided to buy it, too. It was cheap. It was like $8. Hey, there. Hi, Kathy. I think I have that book in my shopping cart. <laughs> you think what? I think I have that book in my shopping cart. Oh, okay. It's really tiny, just to warn you. Like, oh, see, like, this is the other book I got. Like, see, like, this is the normal, like, a normal size book. Yeah. Here. Yeah. It's tiny. Let me check. <laughs> it's really tiny. Cause but, I didn't, it, but it is thick. There's a lot in here. Okay, good. It is, um, it is thick, but I, it, it is really tiny. So just okay, they're just still there. Show you that compared to a normal mixed media size mm -hmm. book, this is very tiny. Okay, because I put um I have I I pulled out a few collage books. I put that handmade collage that Dee Dee had. I want to get that one. And then I got the collage idea book and cut paper pictures. Uh, turn your art and photos into personalized collages. 
So I've got those that I'm going to order probably today. Um, who, um, who makes that one? Oh, that that one is, it's a hardcover and it's by Clover Robin. I'm not familiar with that one. I just, it was one of them that popped up when I was looking through. So you alter, you alter your photos? It just says, turn your art and photos and pers into personalized collages. So I guess you, um, art and photos. Okay. You, um, it just sounded interesting. Like you just incorporate your photographs into your work. Really? Yeah. About this book. Let's see. Can you put the link uh, out uh, so I can put that up? Yeah, let me put the link out. I don't know. Excuse me. I mean, the burp online. I am drinking Diet Dr. Pepper. So. <laughs> okay, let me. I have to. I'll put the link and I have to go okay. into it on Amazon. Yeah. Uh, see, I, I, I mean, I don't know. Unless maybe when I see it, maybe it'll look familiar to me may, uh, once I see it. But offhand, just by the title, it doesn't sound familiar to me. So. Yeah, it just popped up when I was, um, here, let me put the link in. Let me know if that works. Otherwise, I'll get it off of Google if it doesn't work. Um, it popped up when I was looking at collage books because I actually got one in the mail already that I ordered the other day. Oh, good, okay, baby. Guys, here you go. Let me. Uh, yeah, maybe you can show that, too. Yeah, I've got that here to show. I've got to get my cool. lights on. I just got home. I was at Pilates this morning, and I got this. And oh, I may have that one. Let me see. Yeah, let me put you on. Um, let me get a look real quick. I think I might have that one. Okay, let me. Oops. Let me there. All right, I got this. It's not, I mean, there is some eye candy, but it talks a lot about collage, and I, I like it. Just different. Um, just different techniques you can add to your collages to make it all more interesting. So, do you have that book, Eileen? Okay, Kathy Arbor has that book. Okay. Yeah, I thought it, I was watching, I wish I could remember, I was watching a video and somebody mentioned it. So I looked it up on Amazon and then I found a whole bunch of other collage books. I had some of them. And then I've got a few in my shopping cart. And that's funny, that one Colleen got is one I put in my shopping cart, so. Oh, sorry, I've been Zooming this morning, went to Pilates, ran home, not already had happy mail. And I got, this is what I've been waiting for. Um, if anybody is interested in the Poscas, it's been what I've been collecting lately. And they came out with a bigger, bullet tip Posca, which I'll show you while Colleen is gone. They have the, um, I think this is the 8M Posca, it's the one they have now. It's the size on here. I think this one's 8M, yeah, eight millimeter. So that's this, they came out with a, I don't think I have that one. I thought I did, but I don't see it in there. I'll look again before I order it, but I don't think I do have that one. Write that down. It's good, though. I like it. There's a lot of, um, there's pictures and stuff, but what I like, there is a lot of information. Okay, that's the eight millimeter chisel tip. This is the eight millimeter bullet tip. Maybe I've just seen it, but never ordered it. I'm, I don't know. I'm, you might have seen it. I, re, I, I might be that I've seen it, but never ordered it. And that could be because, you know what I mean? Like, you know, where they throw up other books, like you said. I know. And I need to, um, I really need to start taking notes because I know I saw this on a, um, on a uh, video. And I ordered it while I was watching the video, but I didn't write down who I saw it from. Oh, but, um, okay. I, yeah. I know I didn't see it, so it was one year old. Oh, I can do a quick flip if you'd like, Colleen. Yeah, that would be awesome. Because it like is, it. I mean, there's a lot of information. It's not just eye candy. It's There's information, but I was reading it last night, and there was actually some good information. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, flip would be great. All right. Do you want me to do that now, or are you going Yeah, you can stuff? do that. That's fine. Okay. I'll put you full screen. 
All right, sounds good. Uh, let me get my sweater off. It's hot down here. Uh, so how's everybody today? Good, I hope. Oh, is that Smokey or Bandit? How's Smokey? That is Smokey barking. So. Oh, he sounds good. Is he feeling better? Yeah, he's still having some throat issues. He's still swallowing a lot. And, um, you know, you can tell he's still not 100%, but he seems pretty happy right now. So maybe, you know, yeah. maybe it's just the longer the medicine's in the system, he's getting better. I'd still say he's not 100% himself, but he, he's doing better. It, it seems at night it's worse. And I guess, like, with anything whenever you're sick it's always worse at night it seems you know what i mean uh-huh and i'm stuffy today too oh kathy doesn't have this book she has the one Stupid i love one that i have in my cart okay how do you like it kathy do you like it okay all right let me pull up my shaker and then i'll be all set you don't have them on your table you have them on your she linked which i missed okay I'll be curious to see what she thinks about it. Okay. Um, okay. I just did an hour of Pilates, so it feels good to sit down. <laughs> no doubt. That's, that's, that's hard. Okay. All right. Here's a link to Art of Expressive Collage. Thanks, Helen. Oh, and Kathy says it's great. Okay, I'll go ahead and order. I'll press the button today. Okay. All right, so this is by Crystal Newberger. It's called The Art of Expressive Collage, Techniques for Creating with Paper and Glue. Okay, hey, Tori. Hi, everybody. All right, the table of contents, the introduction. You definitely see a pattern in all these art books. Collecting, hunting, and gathering materials. She really goes into how she finds her materials. She has a couple chapters on this. Um, first, she talks about collecting at home, going through your junk drawers, any collections you have, um, look in your pantry, take labels off of stuff. Okay, so Kathy Arbor said the paper book that I linked to is more about cutting and using paper like stained glass. Oh, that's cool. Okay, what was the name of that one? I missed the link. That was, here, let me, I have that over Sorry. the screen. Just a second. Cut paper pictures, turn your art and photos into collage. And it's by Clover Robin. Clover Robin, we might look at a Clover Robin. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why that didn't show up. Okay. This one I recognize, but I never really looked into getting it because it looks really hard. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, just like it ever. Yeah, I just hard. put them in my, um, in my shopping cart and then I was going to look through them today to see if I wanted to get them. Is All it, right. Yeah. Cause she's good at everything. Is it difficult, Kathy? I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to look. I'll probably get it. So no, the other Kathy. Oh. Sorry, Cass. Since you oh. sorting scraps. <laughs> oh man, she is organized. Enough. Okay. So yeah. So she says, go through your house, look through your junk drawer, look through your collections, go into your pantry and pull off labels. Um, look in your mail and recycling bins, look in your basement and attic. She said, you know, go through your kids' old papers you have saved. You know, how many of those do you need? Start pulling those out and using them in your collage. And then, you know, she'll give examples of stuff of how she used hers. Then she says, hunting outside the home, you know, going to garage sales, thrift stores, all that kind of stuff but really goes into a lot of detail, estate sales, auctions, retail stores, something we all probably know, but she just kind of explains what she finds and what she uses. You know, old letters are a great source of collage and can be found in abundance. Sometimes I get so caught up in looking at things in the storage containers and on the shelves that I don't actually see what they're sitting on, she says, um, 
step back and get the big picture. If this wire basket's something you can use for storage. So don't, while you're looking for your collage stuff, be on the lookout how you're gonna store it and stuff too. You might find some neat things. That's true. Storage is always a challenge yeah. for all of us. And I like finding unique stuff too. So, but she goes to auction, she goes to retail stores. Okay, gathering supplies. She gets into detail about that, what type of adhesive she uses, her paintbrushes, watercolor papers. She does a lot on stretched canvas and cradled panels. And she gets into talking about how she um how she collages and then puts rice bags on things for the weight, you know, so it all dries flat. She talks about the glue pads. Here's her rice bags, what kind of cutting tools she, tools she uses. Um, she likes to use graphite, charcoal, and chalk, pastels, India inks, all stuff that we all have and could use. So it's good reminders of what you have. Um, she talks about different paints. She does, um, she does uh, collaging with encaustic and goes into detail with that, what you need for that, tools, temperatures, all that kind of stuff, um, how she stores her supplies, her work zones, how she repurposes furniture. Um, wow. No, isn't this cool? I don't think I've ever seen a book like this, to be honest. Like, you know, I mean, it's, this is really detailed. This is the stuff that we're always asking each other. How do you store this? How do you store that? And I like that she has that in there. Right. She goes through it. She's not just talking okay. about the collaging. She talks about the whole process of um, from starting to find what you're going to collage. might be frozen that's the first part that's just the first uh chapter now wow. she, um, she goes into preparing getting various pages ready to collage our common misconception about working intuitively is that there is no planning or prep work nothing could be further than the truth so she's saying, you know, even though you're being an intuitive artist and not thinking about what you're doing, there is some preparation, like with getting your supplies and things like that. So, which makes sense. I you agree know? with that. Nobody just, I, you know, nobody just sits and is like, oh, I think I'll collage today. You've never done it in your life and you have nothing, you know, collected. You know, there is some preparation beforehand. I agree. So, okay, methods. Okay, then she talks about ink, splashing. Um, she had some interesting, she has some interesting ways of making marks and coloring on her paper. Like, you know, she'll just take um, ink and water and splash it down on paper. Um, she does marbling. Um, what else does she do? Methods for staining. This is what I thought was cool. She, um, she does a coffee stain just, okay. and she doesn't make a big process out of it. It looks like she just takes, you know, a cup of coffee, paints the bottom of the, you know, of a cup, sits it on the paper, lets it soak in for a while. Tea bag. She takes the wet tea bag, plops it down on different parts of the paper leaves it sit for a while. Same with the wine glass. She takes a wine glass, rubs wine on the bot on the bottom of the glass, sits it there for a while. The blueberries, thaw several frozen blueberries, place them on the paper, and press to stain. Remove the berries, wiping away any pulp, allow the paper to dry. That's it. You know, no boiling. You know, it's not this big long process. She's basically smashing blueberries on paper. Oh my God. Yeah, so which I thought was interesting because I'm like, oh, do I really want to stain? It's I've got to boil and all that. I'm going to try that this summer. I am going to try that this summer when I can put stuff outside. Yeah, but this kind of stuff I'm going to try now just in my kitchen. I've got tea. I use tea bags every day. Just uh, that's true. You know, take we'll have we'll have we have wine it with it. You know, at night sometimes just you know. So yeah, so it's just it's not as. It's not such an elaborate process. It doesn't have to be. Okay, it talks about using repetitive patterns. 
embellishments. This is a lot of stuff I've been doing with the mark making and stuff recently, which I was really interested in. Uh, use, she uses foil. So all this kind of stuff she does ahead of time. So when she sits down to actually do the collage, she's got Oh, cool. Available. This is a good book. Yeah, I thought it was interesting. Here she yeah. talks about deconstructing, deconstructing and recycling, um, taking apart books, um, you know, pulling, pulling you know, the binding out and the papers and using that for your collage, the spines, you know, just using all different pieces of stuff. Wow. The pages for anything that previous owners may have left. Like here she found some pressed flowers. Um, cabinet cards. Oh, here she's taking cabinet photos are another common element I use I see used in mixed media collage and one that I found essential to my own work when I first began. Now I'm drawn to the paper layers of the card more than I am to the photo itself. I first began using the paper layers like this when I purchased a box lot at an auction that contained many damaged in delaminating old photos. So she actually takes those photos and pulls the papers apart off of the uh, you know, around here off of the folders. Vintage photo folders do not have the same layered construction as cabinet photos, but they hold many desirable elements. When the photo is pulled away from the backing, it frequently leaves interesting patterns from the glue. The frame portion of the folder is often embossed to foil stamped, and the colors of the folders are typically those that I gravitate to in my work, grays, beiges, tans, and browns. So she just takes stuff and rips it apart, thicker, you know, cardboard. She pulls apart, you know, just to have interesting texture and layers. Grocery bags and shopping bags. You know, she saves the parts that have the grommets on it, anything that's kind of thick. Interesting when it rips. Tea bags and coffee filters, corrugated cardboard, tearing that apart, different textures. And then, you know, she'll show an example. Greeting cards and embossed materials. Pulls those apart, same type of thing. Uses the envelopes. Um, and then again, samples of her work. Composing, understanding. This is where she gets into actually doing the collaging. Composition is the art of arranging in a decorative manner the diverse elements of the painter's command to express his feelings. That's Henri Matisse. So here's where she is. So on chapter three, she finally gets into putting the collage together. You know, talks about different things. Unity and harmony, balance, asymmetrical balance. So this is more the technical part of putting it together. But I just like that she talks about it and explains it and then shows, you know, a few of her examples. And then she talks about the gluing process. And see, here's her rice bag. She does, um, she'll like glue stuff down on pieces of paper and then she uses these big heavy rice bags to make sure it all goes flat so it dries flat spinning them right let's see that works green cards yeah you and you were doing that too what were you you were doing that recently too with some something maybe it was uh greeting cards but yeah any kind of thick paper you can try to pull it apart and even if it doesn't come apart it, you get interesting tears and things like that okay so what else? Let's see. Once dry, turn the clutch over. I've never heard of thinning them. Thinning them? Yeah, thinning the cards and the photos and stuff like that. I've never heard of any of this. Yeah, it's interesting, but it makes sense. And like I said, even if you don't get it like perfectly off where it's thin, if it does tear, that makes it interesting too, you know, with the jagged edges and stuff like that. Um, then she talks into rules of thirds and odds, which I should probably read because I have a tendency just to throw stuff down and put it the way I like it. 
and I think it <laughs> automatically goes into that thirds thing, but I don't typically go in thinking, okay, I have to put this in a third, a third, a third. But she does talk about that movement and simplification. I guess how her how the stuff kind of flows. Um, principle of simplification is to simplify a process of editing when used in collage. Okay, so it's kind of simplifying things. Letting go, inspiration usually comes during work rather than before it. So yeah, so she said, just start and you'll get your inspiration from what you're doing. Just go with, uh, kind of like go with the flow. You know, oh, you plan oh, it yeah. out. Okay, she talks about line and texture. See, and this is- Oh, I love great. that. I do too. And see, these are the things I've been interested in doing recently was, you know, making the different um, okay, cool. collage papers. Finish the collage by spraying with a protective varnish. She talks about that. And then creating, exploring the process. The true work of art is but a shadow of the divine perfection. Michelangelo. So, yeah. And then she talks about creating. She talks about mark making. Ooh, graphite blocks. Cool. I know that. I just saw that right away. That grabbed my atten attention. Oh, good. There we have them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know you've been using that recently, Dee Dee, the pulling apart. You just did it a few weeks ago. The oh, maybe I'll do the cardstock or um, the cardboard on uh, packaging, I think. Something you were doing. Um, so she likes to use the graphite blocks for shading. Um, she likes India ink, which I was interested in. I love India ink. I do too. Um, so it shows how she does that. Okay, faux writing. She talks about the, you know, doing the scribble scrabble, you know, making it look like it's writing, but it's not. Mm -hmm. Um, paint enhancement. She uses paint you know, to make it more interesting, um, you know, and here, like for this, what you need, paint enhancement, glue, paintbrush, scissors, spray varnish, and watercolor paper. Basically, adding photography. Ooh. So that's fun. As I discover more of my own story through the affair of the heart, I begin to notice the flood of collage-like patterns in my surroundings. So she'll take pictures of when she sees interesting things and then incorporate that into her um, into her collages, which is a good idea. And then um, landscaping. Okay, this is where she's talking about different inspiration. She uses uh, landscape pictures for inspiration. See? You tell her, Kimberly, you, want, you can come on with us. <laughs> Who wants to come on? You can come on with us and you can watch, you can watch you. <laughs> we can invite you. Yeah, come in. Uh, yeah, you can talk to your, you could come online with us and then you could talk to your mom. She could watch you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then she talks about how she, different ways of using her photos. Uh, she shows how she uses paint. So there are some um, exercises. Old photos is an element. Um, creating depth and texture, acrylic and gel medium. She goes into that. And she also shows how she does her process on the canvas too, which is great. Mix gel mediums with acrylic color of your choice. Adding texture. Extending collage to canvas, so she shows in detail how she does that, how she gets it to dry and make it really flat. Um, she does a whole project here, which is interesting. More of her work. And then she does, she has a whole section of encaustic layers, using encaustic as a top coat, encaustic as a photo transfer. Um, and she gets into the temperatures, all the detail, encaustic and dimensional elements. See, I, I think the acoustic is really pretty. I like the simple, just the wax over the top, giving it that look. But she does all the details, 
if you are into encaustic, which is fun. And that's beautiful. That's really pretty. Um, inspiration. And this is just um, different. She has pictures from different collage artists. Yeah. I, like me. I like that one, the left. Yeah. Jan Avalana, Elizabeth Bunsen. How might be people who are on Instagram or have books themselves? Yeah, and she, you know what? She puts, they all have a website. Okay. They all have a website. So that's cool. So you can go check out their websites. Catherine Frund, Laura Leans Fensner, Helen Lewis, Bridget Gerzen Mills. That's cool. Um, Crystal, okay, Crystal Neubauer, that's her. Um, Fran Skiles, Susan Stover. I'm trying to think, it might have been Dawn, the messy, let's get messy, that showed this book. I'm trying to think who I've watched. Oh, recently. okay, let's make a mess, her. Okay. I think it might have been, because I was watching her, and I think oh, it might have been her. I only saw part of that one, and I missed the beginning, and she might have showed it in the beginning. Yeah, because I just watched a little bit of it, and this was in it. Because I, and I think I just watched the beginning. I didn't see the rest, and then that tells a little bit about her. So yeah, if you're into collage, like I said, it's not a, there is eye candy, but there's a lot of information. So that was I was I'm really happy that I ordered that. Yeah, I'm glad you did too. I'm glad I just ordered it. So it looks like it's got a lot of a lot of uh, good tips and information and overall. So that's a great book. Yeah, and I said I actually sat reading this last night because you know you know me with my books. I usually flip flip through a lot and look at the pictures. I sat and read through the whole first two chapters, and it was really interesting. So it is. Well, especially too when I saw all the uh, the storage stuff and the collecting and the mark making. So yeah, that is by Crystal Neubauer. Do you want so, to show yeah. your um, cool papers you made in your art journaling class? Oh, okay. That way in there. Okay, these aren't from my art journaling class, but this is what I've been working on the past few days. Oh, I, I thought that was your class. Right. No, actually, I took my big paper and made a book out of it, and then I cut it into rectangles, and I'm going to make another book out of it. So my big, huge sheet of newsprint mm -hmm. is now cut down into, like, eight by three rectangles. But it turned out really cool. I'll show the book when it's done. Okay, baby. Okay. Um, so what I've been doing, I went through with these papers. These are jelly prints that I had laying around. I like that blue one. That's I know. The blue one. The, I like that one because it's cool and like a vintage boho looking, but also kind of, I mean, that one turned out really good. And I also like the one behind it with all the, that style too, which kind of looks like a grid. Okay. Um, so these are stencils. This is the barbed wire one. I think it might be Jones. This is, I did the jelly print at Ingrid's because this is some of her, she has an old medical book. I was wondering what paper it. that was. It sounded awesome. Yeah. So she has this big, huge medical book that she got for some, in a library sale. And the paper's thin, but it's just cool. And it has the writing on Ooh, it. Okay. It's kind of that one is from my rack and yard sale again. Yes. So this was a jelly print that I had done when I was doing my matte paints and then the shiny. I was doing matte and metallic. And so I was just going through my jelly prints and picked out ones that I thought would be interesting to doodle on. So I just did this and just started outlining some of the, um, you know, just around the stencil and stuff like that. Just did some doodling over here to bring color to the edge. Do you remember what silver paint you used on that one? Um, it could have been, uh, okay, so if I was there, what would I have It could have been Arteza, or was that like a different brand? No, uh, it would have been a, a, in a small thing. It could have been Liquitex Basics. Liquitex Basics, okay. It might have been Liquitex Basics. I'm trying to think what other paint I would have taken with me. 
I think it was just Liquitex Basics. Or I, didn't know to ask. I mean, I mean, I just didn't know if you knew offhand. Yeah, or it could have been a paint she had there. And she okay. uses a lot of deco art paint too. So, um, yeah. And then this is the same thing. I did that there. This is actually a stencil girl stencil just with blue paint, with blue paint. And then I went through with my Poscas and just started making, drawing little lines on the open space. I like the lines though. The lines give it that dimension and a little bit of pop though. I like the, the lines you added on top. Yeah, so really while the difference. Yeah, so I do this while I'm like I was doing this, I was just listening to music and picking out colors. And um you know, you can do different let me grab something. I'll grab something here, I'll do some more bed. You know, I just took my took my Pasca and started um doing this with the lines. And if you want thinner lines, you use a thinner Posca. Uh -oh. Thicker lines, you use a thicker Posca. And it just brings a pop of color. And then I'll be able to use this in my, you know, glue books. You know, rip it up. I put like it on the page. Yeah, I mean, just simple stuff like that. Just yeah, it is simple and it really makes a difference. So right. it just that's nice. It just enhances it. So I did that. Um, here, this was another. These were just scraps I pulled out of my drawer. This was um, a jelly print that I did on brown deli paper. And it kind of had, um, again, the line patterns in it. I like the pattern. So I just went through and started filling in different doodles. I just Googled yeah, them. Um, them. I mean, I like the doodles. Those are really good. Yeah, so I just I Googled. It looks like a stencil. They're so good. Yeah, I just doodled, um, I Googled doodles and just, um, you know, just to, because, you know, once you try to think of something to doodle, you can't. Um, and just, you know, got inspiration from there and just started making marks. And this is like a slate blue or a slate gray marker. So it's just kind of cool color with the color of the jelly. I print. agree. That slate blue, that is pretty. It does look really pretty with that. Yeah, as opposed to the black, which would have been more stark. Yeah, I agree. I like that. Slate blue. I okay. that. Like that. So then these were some jelly prints I had done around Valentine's Day. I was using like different reds and stuff because I was making um, ATC, car ATC coins. Mm -hmm. So what I did with these, I just took my, I took my red Posca and I just started doing some borders down the sides just for fun. And then this, there had been a flower in the stencil, but it was kind of um, faded. Yeah. It was actually kind of hard, but I just started, I went around and started tracing what I could see. And then just kind of filled in the flower. I like the red and the pink. That's, so this is red yeah, like and then it's a coral. I've got a oh, coral. coral. Yeah. That makes sense. They, I, uh, they complement each other really nicely. Yeah, so I did that. I drew in a stem, filled some of the coral in over here. I'll probably like draw doodles my own flowers here. And then, you know, I've just got a fun. The Blue Harbor and Americana. Uh, is the Blue Harbor in Americana this one or this blue? Maybe the doodles. I'm not sure, Dee Dee. If I used her paint, it very well could have been. I'm thinking they're Liquitex Basics. This, I think, is Payne's Gray. I think it's Blue Harbor. We write that down. She thinks okay. that she's probably right. I mean, yeah, because Dee, Dee, Dee Dee's good at matching up other yeah. colors with the Americana she has, which okay. is perfect. I'm going to write that down. Blue Harbor, Americana. Okay. This might have been. A, pain, a master's touch paints gray, maybe. Or slate blue. Or a slate blue. All right. Slate, slate blue. blue in the Americana. And then just a shiny silver. It might have been an Americana silver metallic, too. I like those colors, though. 
They're really pretty together. And then within then this was also the slate gray Posca. So it's not as stark. It just kind of it's there, but it blends a little bit because it has that bluish tint to it. Yeah. So but yeah, so I just started doodling, you know, these are all acrylic gel gel prints that I did. So I just started doodling on that. I'll probably see, I'll do the same. This was the this might have been the stencil from the other page. So I just, you know, you just start out. If you want it more monochromatic, you go with the red. If you want it to pop, you can use a black. And just start it, you know, doodling and end up with my own flower. That's good. I like it. It's, it's awesome. So I'll probably do something like that here. Here's another one. This is that same stencil. You can go in with different colors, oh, outline it, make it pop, things like that. Um, here's one I did that was interesting. This was a jelly print, and then I had used the Diane Reevesly heart stencil. Okay. So I started out with red, and no, I started out with my gold Posca and did my scribble scrabble writing all over the top. Then I went with my red Posca and outlined all the hearts, and they just look kind of drab. So then I went with my turquoise Posca outlined it i'm like okay that looks a little bit better then i checked the dark red and went out around the turquoise and the regular red so that made it deep that's what that dark red is and then i went it back again with my regular red and just kind of filled in so there's actually three colors around each of the hearts wow. so that was a jelly print i did with the diane reevesley heart stencil Went back and just got all of them. And then, good. while I was listening to Tracy Weinzaffel the other night, I was doing this. I'm like, okay, now it would look neat if I had little scribble scrabble writing in there. Is that on cardstock? It's like cardstock. That's on that Kelly Kilmer cardstock we got. Okay. So it's heavy. It's a 11 by. 17 card stock. Okay. Yeah. I thought that was, I thought that was it. I just, well, it's 110 it. pounds. So it's heavy. So this is good for ATCs and coins because it's, a, it's thick. You don't have to, yeah, I was thinking that. You, or cover. Yeah. I was thinking that. Hi, Terry. Okay. So I was listening to, so I was watching Tracy Wansaff the other night while I was doing this. I'm like, oh, wouldn't it be cute to have little scribble, scrabble writing? But I, I never know what like how to do writing. So what I did, I was just listening to her talk and was like using uh -huh. that as what I was writing down. You can't tell what it says, but at least I had like something like to form words and things like that. So I went back with my thin black Posca and did just little scribble scrabble writing. And I thought this will be fun like for ATC coins or ATCs or something. So, so that was that. And then I've got one more. Okay, this was this was a this might be glassine paper. I think this is glassine paper because I think it's too shiny to be the bee tracing paper. This is just a jelly print that I had been playing with and I had kept it out on my desk because I like the colors. I did kind of a block jelly printing technique with mm -hmm. silvers, blues, and Payne's gray. So this had been sitting on my desk without the marks on it for a couple months. And then I just took my big humongous markers and went through and just went like this with silver, black, and blue and just went and made dots. That looks good. I like it. So now I have this I can tear apart for collage. Yes. And it's, you know, it's trans. Look at the back. Yeah, it's that very translucent. Cool. So pretty. I love lasting paper. By far yeah. one of my favorites for a lot of things. Like, I mean, just everything looks good on it. Right. And then I don't know. Did you guys see this? I don't know if I showed what I did. Ah, I think 
it all, it all got used up yesterday. I brought my, I brought some with me, but um, this is what I've been doing with the, that roll of um, with the roll of rice paper. That I oh, good, because I haven't touched mine yet. Okay, <laughs> this is what I've been doing with my roll of um, rice paper. So this is just. Oh, that's silver. This is just It's showing in home. Okay, everything was clicked on. Um, hmm. Are you talking about you personally? You don't know if you have it clicked on or something I did? Okay. Oh, Kimberly says it's been doing that a lot. Okay. okay. We'll look into it afterwards. Um, so this is just using my wide. Um, oh, I see what you're saying. She's got it. She's set up uh, um, subscribing to me, but I'm not, but I wasn't showing up. Okay. okay. Um, this is just using the, your different size markers to make different marks and um, just playing. Just playing. Be careful with the um, with the rice paper because the pasta is do bleed through. And then I just took a thin, just my thin black marker, and just start doing some little scribble, scrabble. Or I think I might have used a pen because that's really fine. Um, you know, so depending on what kind of look you want, you can use your pens. You can use markers you can use different colors so, yeah. and that's it i mean this is just playing with your markers and scribbling and making interesting collage stuff and what i like about the rice paper is it really absorbs um it really absorbs the um the acrylic paint and stuff so mm -hmm. the, the paper gets, see how crinkly and that is, you know, yeah. this was smooth to begin with, but where it got wet, see how it made those, it just made those lines and stuff. And it just sounds really, here's some, what is it, RSM or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, you know. I like the sound. I know. I could just do a, a video of it. Just crunchy. <laughs> oh, you can sell. You can sell your mood music. Ours would be ours would be crunchy paper mood music. <laughs> I could give it to you, uh, Art with. <laughs> no coffee needed here. We don't, we, don't need, we don't need oceans or creeks. We just need crinkling paper. I know. I should look. At my, <laughs> I should see if the the A person has uh, crinkling paper as one of her sounds. I don't want to say the name because then she'll start talking to me. But um, yeah. Hey, Sharon. No coffee needed here. We keep you guys awake. <laughs> All right. Okay. So yeah, that's what I've been working on. I did get some happy mail from Dee, which I haven't opened yet. Cool. And should I open it, Dee Dee? Where is it? It's somewhere here. Should I open it or wait to do it on stream? <laughs> Write it down. I brought it down. And you're like me, lose everything. I know. Oh, here's story, some more. Story of my life on this desk. Um, losing everything all the time. Okay, that was my cleanup paper, and then I just started doodling Ooh, with the different colors. Paper looks good too. Yeah, see, these are the just my different doodles. markers. What new paper do you need? Well, I got some cool rice pa paper, Sharon. I'll give you the link. I'll DM you the link. <laughs> if you want, <laughs> I mean, I'm not making anybody buy anything. Um, so yeah, so I just went through, go out and, you know, everybody's got jelly prints that are laying around. Pull a bunch there out. There you go, Sharon. That's what it looks like. I think oh, yeah. double-sized paper towel. And it's rice paper, so it'll work with the, um, the paste. I'm, and that's, the paste is in my order, too. I've got to put that through today. 
So yeah, that was my. That's what it looks like. Okay. So a lot of paper, just saying. So like twenty bucks, but um, there's a lot of paper in there to play with. You know, fun with it. Okay, let's see. Tear this off and save this to uh, collide somewhere. All the cool little stickers and uh, yeah, paper. yeah. Just glue those down in a book. <laughs> Kathy, link the rice paper here. Um, I will. Uh, uh, Give me a second, Elaine. I will, because I have to go look up my order on Amazon. But I will. Do you need a whole roll? It's 20 bucks for that roll, which will probably last forever. And I, I, so far, I've used it for mark making. I've used it on my jelly plate. So it's economical paper to use for your jelly plate. So it's up to you. They do have, you can buy thinner, you can buy rice paper in single sheets. What I like about this, it's a little bit thicker than some of the single sheets I've bought. So it's up to you, Sharon. I mean, you don't have to have it. It's just um, it's fun. It's fun. It's a fun, it's a fun extra. So I you know, say, but, consider it a fun extra in your arsenal. Here's what I'd say. If you have rice paper, do use your rice paper to jelly print with and see how it works. If it sticks, then think about getting thicker stuff and then use the regular rice paper to do mark making and see how you like that. Experiment with what you have. If you want something thicker, try that. Ooh, fun stuff from DB. <laughs> Ooh, a little ephemera stuff. Yeah, me too. Aww, thank you, Dee Dee. I love that. Oh, look at that. That was fun. That's nice. Watching you do that. There you go. Ooh, and a whole bunch of collage stuff. Ooh, oh, I, I love that painting. That I know. Did. I love that you did that. Let's see. I might just do. I might do a page with what she sent me. Let's see. Ooh, the owl. Oh, oh the cat. Oh, love it. I can't wait to get it, thank you. Some reason stuff gets to Michigan before here. <laughs> it, do it does, doesn't it? It's Except so for weird. that one book. It's so weird. What we could put together. This this will be my DD page. Let's see. Fun. Dee Dee always puts her little smile in or kisses. Here we go. There. I'll have to glue on that. I'll have to put that all. I'll do something with this. I like it. I know. Or I may just put this on my desk and use this for for collage. Thank you, mm. Dee Dee. That's fun. I love that. To put it in all matches. Uh huh. Thank you. Ooh, I didn't put your. Uh, hopefully, I didn't put your address up there. Okay. Hi, Joan. All right. So that's that's everything I have. <clears throat> Okay. So the, um, I was showing you all the collage book idea that I've shown you earlier, and it is very small, just so you know, it's small. It's very thick, though. It has a lot of good ideas in it. Um, this is all about collage, and, like, this is similar to it. Kind of a Kathy or cast was doing yesterday where you know you can also just paint your back, paint your landscape, and then add your collage to it. You know, you don't necessarily, you know, uh, have to have something down, you can paint it and then add it on top. 
And this is repurposing your artwork, which I know Dee Dee has done. I'm not even going to pronounce this one. You can do this. Oh, make a paper. What is that? Polympast? Polympist? Polympist? Polympsist? Oh, polymp. Oh, I don't know. I've never heard of that. Me either. So I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. Uh, create art from junk. <laughs> that one's got flea market stuff. It's crazy. Uh, it, hybrid creatures, you know, which we kind of all have seen here and there, but these are really hybrid. These are really hybrid. So there's some cool ideas. So pinning it, uh, playing with your paper, experiment with embroidery. Um, she put embroidery pieces all over her face. Cutouts, uh, how to paste and how to make a paste and scrapbook. Use your scrapbook paper to make to make um, collage with um, ornamental. Um, making stuff out of uh, your trash can, recycling bin. Uh, give your work a modern twist, books and photographs, creating a urban portrait. I really like this one. They um, took doors and buildings and mixed them all together to make one building, like a bunch of different doors and buildings to create one. The real narratives. Um, this talks about uh, switch contacts, fragments of vintage magazines. I'm going to do, I'm gonna read every page. I'm just going to kind of do a flip through. There's a couple hundred pages in here. So I'm just going to kind of do a quick, quick flip through. We'll be here all day. We won't even, we'll just be in books still. <laughs> <laughs> we'll still be in books. I like this one. Um, embellished with uh, this this guy, uh, I'm Michelle. This girl um, does collage work with um, digital images, and um, she also stitches on them. Uh, so there's a lot of different ideas in here again. Uh, this is collage and uh, fabric and stitching, which I really like this. So she uses, uh, oh my gosh, cloth, salt. I don't even know what bit, bitmen wax and wax and varnish. I have not read every single thing. So create a dynamic collage, mixing contemporary and vintage together. Creating a fantastic world. I can make a sketchbook. I a page. Tell a story, which do you like to do with her art? Again, uh, stitching. This is uh, making ephemera tags. This one, this one's pretty. Uh, this one's really good for inspiration. There's buttons and denim and fabric and marks and lace and I like this. Um, adding a narrative, defining a color, uh, making portraits, um, cut and tear paper, using wool and felt, making analog art, acrostics, felt. How do you do collage with your stamps and stencils? Graffiti, uh, paper, this is really specific paper collaging. Uh, paint, flora and fauna, getting structured, cutting into torture, collage with ceramic shards. Oh my God. Uh, modern old master. Creating textures and patterns, adding dimensions, incorporating real objects in your collage, 
and that uh, magical vintage worlds, which collage, this is collage and drawing. So this is similar to what Dee would do. Uh, this is paint and drawing and collage. Embrace the homemade. Experiment with uh, image transfers. Uh, creating imagery beings. This is, that's very cool. Uh, mass production. Uh, make a self-portrait. Okay. We'll get towards the end. Creating shapes and outlines. Collage. Uh, this is, well, this is like a fresh look at collage using your scraps. Hydroglyphics. Oh, that's cool. Uh, playing around with paper. I love that. Oh, great. There's great um, inspiration pictures in here. It's to say it's a very small book, but there's uh, you can't see it very well on camera, but there's a lot of, of good ideas and a lot of inspiration. But the book is very small, but there are lots and lots of cool ideas. So, great ideas. Yeah, it's just the book is tiny. So that's the only downside. I wish this book was larger. I would say that's about the only downside is due to I said the pictures were larger. I agree. Yeah, the pictures were larger. Um, I picked up this book, the Mixed Media Hamburger System. Um, this is by Karen Campbell. And it really gives, um, she has videos to all this stuff. But I think this is... Um, just a fun reference. She discusses the uh, her her. She explains mixed. Let me go my solo. Um, she explains how she does mixed media. Um, I think that's a really good basic book for beginners. Yeah, and I think it's a good reference if you get stuck to go back and look at. Um, I did yeah. send it to your friend, Lori. <laughs> asked what is special about rice paper, and um, she don't know if we addressed it. Okay, um, I think rice paper, um, I would say, melds into your collage work. Um, it will more or less kind of melt into it, and it's a I kind of consider a rice paper a mix between fabric and paper myself. This is what I consider it. And it melds into your your work. And you can use rice paper to, if you cut it right, supposedly you can use it in your printer as well. And I think it gives your artwork some dimension. It's not as falling into it like tissue paper. But now, it does doesn't is that what he would would you describe it as i think rice paper it's like its own unique thing it's like it's heavier than tissue paper um it rice paper is what um people use to practice their calli calligraphy with right Dee? Dee? um it takes it takes um ink really well Hi, Minky. Um, there's different types of rice paper. Some has, you know, more texture in it. Some is smooth. It's just, I like it because it's different and it's a fun thing to collage with and just to see how it reacts with different um, paints and inks and watercolor and stuff like that. It's just like another tool I look at it as. It's just different. It's something different than tissue paper. It's different than copy paper it's different than cardstock it's now Dee, Dee doesn't use it for calligraphy you know it's just it's just another thing to play with and i like it for collage so so yeah i can't i don't know technically about paper so i can't tell you like oh rice paper is this and this kind of paper is that i just like it because it's different than other papers i've used and i like playing you know i like playing and experimenting with it so so hopefully i mean i don't know if that's a good explanation but but i'm sure you can google like and find out technically what the difference is so show the embossing paper what embossing paper who i don't even see who's talking i don't even see this oh maybe you haven't got it yet uh sharon asked if we oh. See the embossing paper, and I'm not sure 
I didn't show any embossing paper. Are you talking about the rice paper, Sharon? Yeah, we, you can emboss on rice paper. I've just been using, I've been playing with the rice paper with my. I to show it, so I'm not sure she's a little. Maybe. Yeah. All right, maybe later we can put that on our list of things to, to Let show. Let me know if you miss misspelled it. Did you want to see the rice paper? Or we didn't show any embossing paper. Or Oh, Sharon, here, Kelly. Be specific. Um, because I'm not, only because I'm not following. Let me look, let me look. Kelly, can you show the embossing paper, please? Um, that she did the other day? Hey, Sharon, are you talking about the embossing paper she did the other day? We could show those later. Okay, we'll see what she I says. I saw them the other, uh, the, uh, a couple weeks ago. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that later when we start arting. There's some that you had that you did. Oh, okay, okay. I'll do that. Thank we'll do that later when she's when we're done with the yeah, intro. Yeah, I could do that after the haul. Sure. Okay, thank you because I was a little confused. Yeah, I got my order from um, from Z, and um, I picked up a uh, stencil. This is Studio Light. This is Cool. This goes with the, um, the die cuts I purchased. Like it's the same same lady, and apparently there's several of these you can get. And then I like that it has this little. Hey, that's cool. Yeah, I like that you get these, and it comes with a ring. And so you can, as you collect these, it's like the Tim Holtz. You can have them on a ring. And they're, you know, it's small, it's thin, doesn't take up, you know, a lot of room. So you can actually get several of these and put them on a little ring. So I thought that was neat. She only had, uh, I think, the one or maybe the other was sold out. And that was the only one left. Um, I picked up cool. some more, um, some rice paper. This is the same same one, um, Jeannie's Mindful Art Collection. Can I see the back of this one? Um, okay, I'll see how you can see all the little um, the fibers in there. Fibers, thank you. Fibers. So that's kind of the difference with rice paper. Yeah, yeah you can see the fibers. So and that's I, what I'm looking for is a roll of that. A roll of this. Yeah. yeah, a roll of this would be that they put these on would be fantastic to have. I agree. It'd be pricey though. That paper is expensive, but it's nice. Well, that's, I don't know if it's like expensive. Well, it could be partly because it has, you know, the the printed pattern too. Yeah. Um, I got this one, which is the Oriental Garden and Cosmos. I think the other one is now in, of course. <laughs> I better get this one done. Um, hold on. I know they're pretty. And these will be fun. The Stamperia, and this is, uh, I think it's like, yeah, this is eight by eight. So it's a really pretty paper pack. Stamperia has. Pretty papers and stamps, and I really like Samperia stuff. So Did does, you so you does Eileen. Yeah, Eileen said she, oh, that's gorgeous. She said she'll love them. Did you get these too, Eileen? You've got to do an Asian uh, journal, Colleen. Yeah, that's my, that's what I'm going to do. I've been gradually collecting the, the Asian stuff. I mean, it's just really pretty i don't think i can do many more but like you can see Sandra. it's very pretty it's very it could be atc it's very delicate it's very pretty it's um, nice. smells good too just saying <laughs> i can smell it from here and i'm stuffy i can smell it <laughs> oh, I <love> my lips. <laughs> i'm a paper sniffer <laughs> Some people sniff crayons. Some people sniff papers. I'm a paper sniffer. 
I've always been a paper sniffer. New books at school, you know, be like, you know, if you got new ones instead of cruddy used ones from previous years, you're like, oh, it's new and it smells good. <laughs> I always have to sniff it. Oh, remember when Archivers was around? I used to love watching. Well, yeah, we had a scrapbook store. It smelled so good in there. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. It it just it smelled so good in there. Hi, Z. This paper is just beautiful. It's it's very um it's very matte and soft and pretty. Um, some of these, you almost think if you, you could, uh, what's on the back, it's clean. You can almost make bookmarks out of these with the shape of them, punch a hole, add some, um, you know what I want to do with, um, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm at a loss at words here. <laughs> see the paper on the left, Colleen, with all the script on it that, mm -hmm. I want to take like silhouettes and like cut out silhouettes in on that type of paper. I think would be cool. Oh, that would be cool. I just thought of that looking at that. I agree. And I have two rice papers from the same We I have this one and another one to use. I bought those at a different time. That's the Oriental Garden. Kath leaving. Is she leaving or just? I'm going to ask her. Kathy, is it still snowing going on? It's done about a ton of snow. Yeah, she gets, we got it here, but then she gets it. Um, the pad collection is called Stamperia Original Garden. Samperia has beautiful line papers, stencils, rice paper, um, uh, just a lot. <laughs> you name it, it's just exquisite. There's, it really is. It, it just, it's just exquisite. I can't even. I don't know the word to describe it except exquisite. Uh, let me show you the two rice papers I have. I love the red. I love that red that they use. Yeah, I have this. This is part of Stamperia's. Um, they also have rice paper. I have her, which matches with, you know, the same like Geisha, the girls in there. And then I also have this one, which is a page in there and the rice paper. Did you get this all from Z? These I got from Doggles, but I got the paper from Z and I got the rice paper from Doggles. Okay. I don't, I think they sold out at Joggles and some of this stuff, but they had the rice paper still. And then you guys saw that um, a while back, I picked up this at Barnes and Nobles for 10 bucks. And um, I picked this book up um, a little bit ago. And it's, again, it's like, you know, ah, huh, you don't want to see that. But um, it just, images from japan so um oh, that'll be so much fun colleen yeah so i picked this up and a while back and then i also when i was at um half price bookstore for like three bucks um i found a, a japanese dictionary so i'll be able to and now i have all that rice paper too oh, fun. And I found this for three dollars, and it's a dictionary terms English to Japanese. So um, I just thought this would be fun for 
uh, using for collage or pages or whatever. It, it reminds me of, uh, you know, I mean, I said the same as what you would be like in a Bible, um, also an old um, dictionary. I mean, this thin little pages. So anyway, so. Um, so like I said, Sanfria has rice papers that go with their collection. So it makes it really nice. Oh, I love that. And the, now this one, let's see. This one is called the Cosmos. And this one I like um, because it's just all, all cool moon, moon stars, things like that. Thanks for putting up the link, Dar. Yay, mix of squalls and blizzard looking around 80 centimeters. I don't know how many that is in inches. Is that like a foot? Uh, just under a foot, maybe? This paper um, is, I'm trying to get by the camera. You can really see how pretty this is. Oh, my gosh. It is just, you can, it's got all the cracks and crevices and, it's got the swirls. It has some collage images within it. You can see that, you know, what it, you know, it just um, tree trunks. And this is the, get my camera to focus. Hold on. Stamperia Cosmos. And it's Cosmos, but it, it's, but it does have animals in it. It's just really a neat pack. It's just really cool. It combines moons and stars and animals. And uh, it's just, it's, a, it's really cool how they combined it all. I think I'm going to order that to add to my January journal next year. 31 inches. Oh my God. Oh my God, 31 inches. I can't even fathom that. That literally would shut the whole couple states down. Like everything would be shut down. There, That would be like a level three emergency in US. <laughs> like you would not be going to work. They'd be like, that would be stop everything. Literally, literally stop everything. 31 inches here. Even though we get snow, we do not get snow like that. Probably the most snow we ever had at one time in recent years we had, we got about 10 inches one time. And that Tom was actually, did not have to go to work because there was a level three emergency. So they basically don't want you on the road. Any cars going to work, mucking up the roads so they could clear them off. So like 31 inches, we'd be at standstill. I can't even, there's so many uh, country and uh, rule, ruler, I can't say roads around here. This is a combination of suburbs and country combined. And if you go much further, it gets very country and they would never be able to get out. Like, ah, they would, if you're out of city limits, I'm in city limits, but if you're out of city limits, like you're in county, good luck. Uh, I love these little, look at these cute little tags you could cut out. I love, oh, I've already done. Look I at this. I love that. This is beautiful paper. Now, some of this is, what language is this? Does anyone know? I don't know. Is it Spanish? I'm assuming Spanish. I really don't I'm know. Really Spanish. But you can see, like, I've been using a crackle paste and stuff. It's all done. Like, it's all crackled. Like, it's the, but I love all the itty bitty tags and stuff. I'm assuming oh Spanish, God. but I don't, yeah, this might be. This looks like Spanish to me. Yeah, no kidding, Eileen. The, I, I, uh, you can't go to work, Hydro. They have their own snow plows. And he can't make it to work. Oh, my and God. He can't make it to work. I believe that. I I definitely, I definitely believe that. 
this is pretty this is a tree trunk with all the purples and turquoises and this is pretty um this is a, as some watercolors and it almost looks like crusty moon like the craters in the moon i don't know how they achieve this but it's beautiful there now i got the focus It's, I mean, every paper is, every paper is a piece of work. It is, it is an art piece, I should say. It is an, every paper is an art piece in this collection. It's like, their, their paper is outstanding. I mean, you, like, you're looking at it and you can't figure out what, what you like the most. You know, like this is the same stamp that's here, but this is in turquoise, this is in a brown, there's purples, like it, it's just beautiful and distressed. I love the animals, of course. There's the deers and owls and wolves and birds. Sandra's putting out the stamper. Sandra, do you have the stamperia stuff in your shop? It's so pretty. She's howling at the moon. Yeah, this is, um, it's just, I don't even know how to describe it other than it's just beautiful. Oh, my God. I'm going to be working on my January journal in March. I love those papers. I know. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's gorgeous. Like this, you can tell, is some stamping. Like here, if you really look, there's word stamps. Okay, I'll have to take a look. See. Watercolors. Stamps. I'm assuming those are stamps. I don't even know what to call the name of them with the, the lines. I don't have that style myself, so I don't know. Um, it, it, it's gorgeous. It is just, you know, and you see the, the cover. They show you the cover of the book when, you know, but you I love the suns and moons. But, you know, I mean, you you know, you're going by the cover and you're just like, okay, it looks really nice. But, boy, when you get this in your hand, mind-blowing, mind-blowing beauty and detail. <laughs> like, you don't, you almost want two, just one to, to, to look at and pet and then one to use. Oh my God! I'm thinking you could just take the the book like that, make that just, into a book, and just leave it as is, bound it, leave it bind, and just work on it. You could. Yeah. Yes. This is the size of the um, Arteza eight by eight. Right, right. Just do it like that. Cut out you the could. You know, those out. You could just use it as is, like an eight by eight book. Most definitely, that's a good idea. Um, this is Z Shop. And I have to, Sandra has the best customer service. You order something, you have it in a couple days. You sent me some goodies. You sent me some napkins. I love oh, this. Great. Look at this. Ooh, I love that. She sent me a card. She says, I love elephants. I like the little card on the right, the girl. This, the, yeah. this girl? Yeah, that's one of my new that. ones, I guess. Is this her art? I don't know if that's hers or not that it matters. I was just wondering. Is that your did you is that oh you know, it has is that her new card? I love it. It is. So it's probably gonna be your new card, I'm assuming. Or just an addition to maybe this so you can put it with this, you know, put this in your with something you're making. This has some sprays and stuff on top of that. And then she sent me some more butterflies because she knows I do like butterflies. I have a giant one on my arm. So <laughs> um, she okay, said, if anybody wants to order from Sandra, go to her website because there's no way. I mean, you, she can't be taking orders on stream. There's no, you know, she's going to miss you, something. Oh, go yeah, to and Sandra's website to place your orders. Yes. And if you can't go back and look to make sure she has everything. And if so she go to her website, you want message her on Twitter or Instagram. Yeah, message her, and she can tell you. Um, she can put you on a list for something that she's out of. So message her, and that way she can keep it all straight because she definitely got more customers than just us. 
Um, so and then she sent, me some cute little, she sent me some cute little doggy tissue paper. I love that. I've got some of that. Make a book and pick a side. Thanks, exactly, Debbie. Oh, thank you, Sharon. So she she made so she knows all of my dogs. She sent me that with her grass up, which is really sweet. Um, this is the other thing I got. This is Eileen's fault. This is I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it, but Eileen wanted it, so maybe I need it. Uh, Stamperia stone paper and. I don't know. It's in another language. So let's see. Open it up. I want to. I want to see. I want to tell us what it feels like. Eileen, you know, took a class with uh, that guy, so she's got to tell me what I can do with this. And I don't think she has any problems with telling me what to do. So that shouldn't be. That shouldn't be a problem for Eileen. Yeah, open that up and feel it. I want to know what it feels like. So you can see the GR, whatever, 300, whatever this is in inches. <laughs> okay, she said it makes, um, we're US. It makes so. awesome journal covers. It's in another language, just make it up, right? Nobody will know. I'm just going to make it up because it's another language. Okay, so this is, it's it's really thick. So is I can tell you, it's, it's very, it's thick, but it's flexible interesting like is it card like canvas cardstock is not this flexible this is almost like look how flexible that is okay what does it feel like is it smooth it's very smooth okay um as eileen likes the other paper we used to get what is it called i don't know craft hex i'm not sure what stone paper is Craft text is more canvassy. Oh, I'll take that back. One side is rough. I would say one side is, is slightly, slightly rough. And this side's very smooth. So it might be a watercolor paper with the two different textures. Very smooth. This side is slightly rough. And I mean slight. Okay. Debbie has a good question. Does it feel like fabric? or? I feel oh. like it is like a poster because it rolls like a poster and like it's flexible flex poster it's, board yeah it's flexible but like it's thick this is thick like this is one piece like i thought this was two this is one piece i don't know guys okay. got the google it. You paper i bought it i bought it because oh wait a minute here it is here's english <laughs> special paper made of natural fiber Extra strong in the washing machine. Extra strong does not tear. Versatile for all decorations. You can pierce, cut, sew, die cut, or even decorate it with rice paper. Oh, we got that. Um, decorate with rice paper, stencils, and acrylic colors. So acrylic paint. Ice paper stencils. Once decorated, it can be cleaned in the washing machine <laughs> before using it. Use mixed media glue to stick papers and decorations before washing it. I'm sorry, before washing, use mixed media glue and stick papers and decorations. You could put this in the washing machine. And if you, oh my God. Here says it's stiffer than craft text. Huh, interesting. It's and like so you can see here, they made okay. some sort of, they actually made a, a bag or a purse and there's you can see that it's stitched and it's stenciled on. Oh wait, Colleen. This I is, think it's gonna tweet a piece that Antonius did for her. Oh she got one made for her. Mm -hmm. Yes. He did one for you. Dang, Eileen. So there you go. I'm going to hold this up for anyone watching the recording. He's fast forwarding. So you can see what it does. 
I bought it because I think Eileen wanted this and then um, was looking for this and then Zondra got it in her store is what I'm remembering from tweets. Oh, and conversations. Too. So okay. you can see from the photos, she's sponging it, stitching it, um, Mod Podge or you know, <laughs> Batman, yeah. whatever. This is, this is, yeah, this is cool. I mean, look at that. It would make a great cover. Look how easy this bends. Oh, yeah. You could do a spine, you know, like an inch spine or something. Cool. <sighs> I got to think about what I'm going to do with this. I just ordered it because it was cool and Eileen wanted it. <laughs> if Eileen wanted it, so it must be cool. It has to be cool if Eileen wanted it, right? So she knows all the new stuff, what's cool, what's in. Tanya, she's like the coolest chick around. So she knows it all when it comes to that. Um, so I got the clodge seeds. These came from Joggles, and we're gonna oh, play with hands. these. We're gonna That's play fun. with these, and I'll get those out. We're ready to play with them. Um, these are stuff I did. Um, yes, Debbie, one piece. Some, some ex you should see it painted and scrunched. So you scrunch it all up. There's one piece in the package, Debbie. So one piece is nine dollars. It's not. Yeah, Ooh. it is not cheap. I mean, I'm not saying anything gets Sandra. I'm just saying that's the the. No, ongoing. it's a it's a hefty piece of paper. It's right? ongoing. It. This is the price it would be no matter where you buy it. So don't like take that in any other direction. It's just because of the flexibility and kind of paper it is. Why it's nine dollars? Yeah, that's you know that's why you'd use it. I mean, it's nothing like, like it. I mean, it's a, it's a, you're paying for a specialty paper. Um, I tried fabric the other, after we got offline. I tried fabric with the embossing enamels, and it was kind of like thumbs down. Like you don't have him, yeah, like you don't have any sheen. I mean, it worked, but like I could do this with any embossing powder, right? So I really don't think that that was that was not a good experiment. So, but what was good experiment was um, I took a napkin um i use this paste and put it down let it dry and then i embossed on top of it with the embossing enamels on a napkin cool and it was cool and then again here i i here i did uh here i did um just another version of just stamping and embossing so i was able to uh, put this on top of a napkin after it's sealed and then this is on b paper which we talked about and this one was on the glassine paper cool i love that i love the glassine so we wanted to try it on glassine paper we wanted to try it with napkins so i did that after we got offline i um, also i also did this on b paper um again now that we are trying it you can see the distressed glaze how cool that looks so that was later we i did that after getting offline that was and then that was the b paper this one again is glassine and embossing on that and i love i just totally love this that's a cute so stamp. these were all of our hours and hours of experimenting uh with the press glaze thames uh, I think this was just regular glassine tissue paper of Diane's and oh yeah. And then we did Tim's um, die cuts, die cut things. Yeah. And again, this one, I did a mix of colors on and then we did it on top of acrylic, uh, the glassine on the acrylic, the glassine, uh, the glassine, I'm sorry to distress enamels on the acrylic. And also on the top of the gel and on uh, tea bags. Again, we did it on this tea that bag. Was cool, I uh, this was B paper. This is B paper with the embossing enamels. And uh, this was we're you know just first trying to look like a uh, stained glass. Stained glass. Thank you. This is rice paper. It worked on that. That looks cool. I like that. So it worked on rice paper. We tried. Is that a stamp you have that pen? 
This was the Art by Marlene uh, Rice paper. Oh, okay. So that, okay, cool. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sharon. Yeah, the glazes are so cool. Um, B paper, can you tell Queen Pam about the B paper, Kathy? Oh, B paper. It's called B tracing paper. Um, I'll put a link up. It's just something that I found um, a while, I don't know, a while ago. I don't care. Yeah, I think as far as I know, uh, um, it was, um, Kathy was the first to start using B paper on, and she was using it on her jelly plate. Yeah, and, I went through yeah. a period. I love paper, so I just kind of, um, I went online looking for just whatever was thin. I got uh, medical paper, I got B paper, then I ordered glassine paper. I will put up the link to the roll that I got. And, I did, uh, though. I always am looking because I'm using it for jelly plating. So I want to get it. I found that when you buy rolls of paper, it's cheaper and then you can cut it to the size you want. So it's a tracing paper that works good for um, the roll that I got works really good for collage and jelly printing. So I'll put the, the link. The B paper you. is technically like the brand name. So. If that's what you're asking, that's the brand name of the people who make it. Yeah, like it's the company. It's the brand B. Yeah. It's just um, it's something I just kind of happened on. And I liked it. I was looking for a uh, sturdy, translucent. I had to think for a minute. It's been a while. Yeah, because we were that day she was showing that. We were like, what? And then you're using tracing paper on the jelly plate. And then I try like some tracing paper I already had. It was not quite the same thing. And um, then um, she, we were talking to Ben that day about she bought. She had, she was doing medical papers and all kinds of stuff. That yeah. Day. Wait, was what funny. happened, I had used tissue paper and the tissue paper stuck to the um, jelly plate. So I was looking for something that was sheer but sturdy. Yeah, that's actually that's true, Dee Dee. The, the B paper makes different kinds of paper. Yes, these the yeah. company. Yeah. All right. So this page is what I want to talk about is the big... Um, the big conversations that were going on yesterday um, in chat about the paste. Now, Sharon is here, which is awesome. So, Sharon, you primarily use um, you primarily use acrylics, correct? When you use this, you're 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 uh, gluing layers and layers of papers down. She lets them sit. She doesn't heat set it. She lets them set aside, and then. She then uh, mostly uses acrylics. Um, um, she doesn't, you know, acrylic and not watercolors. Pretty much just want to verify that because I'm 99% sure she just does. She does collaging with this and then uses acrylics. Okay, and Janet's going to do some testing. Awesome, Janet. I would love some more testing on this. This glue would be awesome. And if you could write down what you did, what failed, what succeeded, would be awesome. Yeah, when I get mine, I'm going to try it on different stuff too. Because the last. Okay, so, so Sharon uses acrylics when she uses this. So the issue was. The issue was that um, something happened with um, with Shauna's stream and the p tissue paper, so or the napkin or napkin, something. Yeah. So, so I decided to. I already had bought it. Now I tried it on the glass seam, and I let it dry. And that was over here. This was, and I let let it dry. And I did use it on this. I let it dry. Um, naturally and on the B paper and the, the glassine and it just it just melded like it just like it was always on here you see what I'm saying so I like the idea of um, using this as a napkin with this on the glassine or the B paper and what you could do you don't need to boss over top of it uh, we're just I was trying some examples 
And what you could do is this is sealed quite well. What I'm going to do now, since it's all dry now, is I'm going to hit, hit it with some water so we can see what it does. I can tell you what happened here. And then, and then, I mean, because you could always do is you could still use this, but lay this on top of your finished piece, meaning not getting it wet again. Okay. So what I did, this is my, what, um, this is what I did. So I put down these napkins. Okay. I put one in a corner and one down in this corner, right? So I was trying to do the more of the watercolor type effect to see, like, uh, to see what would happen. So I put the napkins on with this. I let it sit for eight hours at least. It's six to eight hours for longer before I worked on it. Okay. So, but when I went back in using this is um, the Arteza. Um, sorry, I'm tired today, guys. I'm sorry. Um, not the watercolor, but the. Um, oh, my mind. I'm so tired today. Hold on. <sighs> Someone help me out and chat these that crack. Oh, yeah. sorry. I wasn't paying attention. I'm trying to think of the paint. It's not the wa Arteza watercolors. It's the um, gouache. Gouache. Thank you. I'm so tired. Got such a bad <laughs> headache today. Sorry um, about that. So, um, so I used the gouache, and when I was working on it, I will say it did move. What leaked? Okay, gosh, thank you guys. I'm just tired and I have a headache, so my focus is a little hard today. Even though I actually slept better last night and I have for days. Okay, the napkin did move. Like, after completely dry, I had nothing underneath. I had no gesso, no, any, no matte medium, nothing underneath. I took the napkin and laid it on the watercolor paper with, and with nothing underneath it put the stuff on and it with water it did move this napkin was peeling off but so i think it, if you use this the important thing is do not wet it in the middle don't get the middle wet keep it on the edges so what i did is i used it to my advantage and as i was putting this on and it was it was coming off. I just kind of because you don't want a square napkin anyway. It doesn't. It looks better if it's if it's jagged. It looks more natural. Fits in instead of square. Is I used it to my advantage, and I so I just pushed it in. Just kind of pushed it and designed it and let some of it rub off, and then some of it stay. And then I so you can see where I brought the paint up on it. And so I just used it my advantage, but I had to make sure, you know, I'm saying like if this would have got wet in the middle, it would have ruined it. So I kept the, on the edges, which I was not going to cover this anyway. So then this is part of the napkin. I ran a tree up, another tree stencil I had. I used crackle paste. And again, I use all Arteza, Posca, or Arteza gouache for this. I added a... Uh, the crackle paint. Uh, this is crackle paint. This is acrylic paint here. Um, this door is from um, and Catherine Anderson's book. And this is just a little image I found. And I put it in there and I put down. He's happy. Um, because he fits. He fits, he fits into the, the. I want it to look like stone. See how he matches the stone work. And so this is crackle paste with the gouache and this is acrylic and he's on there and you can see on down the gouache. So the interesting, so it did move. It did react and start moving with water. So after it's sealed in, so FYI. So I do know that it's still good stuff but Sharon uses this with acrylic. So again, make sure you keep the water off of the middle and just 
make sure when you're if you're adding water just keep it carefully use your brush and use on the edges and use it to your advantage and just scooch the napkin around where it's uneven and it looks more it just looks better in general when you do that so then again i used this to look like stone uh, this is acrylic this is crackle paste again the gouache I just added a little couple little uh, stickers that was in some things Dee Dee sent me with the little stickers and I use those. Now the now here and down here, see now interesting thing about the crackle paste, some of mine came off because this was thinner. So I went searching about crackle paste. So you can see where some came off and some stayed. So when I started working with the water, some of it, the watercolor started coming off. So now I was very, very careful and removed what I wanted and then made sure I was dabbing instead of rubbing. So I was rubbing and some of the crack paste came off. So then I realized I needed to dab, dab into the cracks and not rub that in, dab. So after I started dabbing, I was fine. Again, the and you can see here the crackle paste from the tree. And even when I put the acrylic over top of it, look how the acrylic has the cracks from the crackle paste. So along with the water. So I was looking about looking stuff up about crackle paste and it basically said crackle paste is better on a hard surface, like a, a board, you know, a hard surface, not a canvas. You're talking like a wood canvas is the best, best, thing for crackle paste. They said when you put crackle paste on anything else like paper or whatever, it is fragile. Now the one books I did, I did not do anything to it after I added it. I didn't add anything on top of it. So it was fine. So if you're going to add stuff on top of it, definitely dab and don't rub because it, if it's if it's thin here, it did come off. Now here it was much thicker. So I had more success with it not coming off here but like it came off more where it was light but i didn't want this to be heavy so just be aware if you use the crackle paste just just more dabbing than rubbing <laughs> from my mistakes okay so that's the cons is it does move with water so don't get it and don't get your middle of your neck just use it to your advantage and scoot your napkin here's the con or the pro that was a con here's the pro so what I did here was really cool. And I took pictures of it so I could show you what I did in the process. Okay, so when I first started, there's my napkin on the white paper. Get my camera to focus. Hold on my minute. You're gonna see my light in this there. Okay, so there's the napkin on the white um, paper. And then I took the um, tissue paper, the uh, tissue paper, the one that has the color on it. Oh my gosh, my headache is like, with my headache, I can't focus. Um, basically use the paste and the water with the, with the uh, tissue paper, right? And then I let it sit on there for a couple minutes and then till i felt and i peeked underneath to see it was releasing the ink and when i then i was happy with it i pulled it off and i want you to see now now granted it's uneven right well i didn't care because it was going to be covered up anyway but look at that so then i took the paste and I rubbed a light coat with water on your brush over top of this. It was already feeling permanent, just to make sure it would stay. And the cool thing is it made this, just by mixing the paste and water and putting this down and pulling this up, it made it permanent. This, you know, cause like the tissue paper will keep reacting. Every time it hits water, it keeps reacting. Putting oh, that's it really down, cool, Colleen. Putting it down with the paste actually made this permanent, which none of us have ever done. Like we were playing with the tissue paper, but actually I just glued it down and pulled it up 
and then it then that was left behind oh that's really cool so obviously where the darker where overlap you see it, it looks a little messy right but it were it's but look it's permanent though and then i just kind of smeared it around it is permanent i was able to put anything i put gouache on top of it um i did the little marks kind to to represent uh represent the the grapes and the lavender up here and i actually was doing like all the little color marks it's up here and then i extended the yellow down all this with gouache on top of the on top of this and it didn't move at all so this made it permanent and it worked beautifully because it was really thin and it didn't tear it and it made it permanent so the, this was a pro to this paste it worked beautifully on those on the ink tissue paper someone help me with the name please <laughs> this is something i lost today is it yamoto no the paper bleeding tissue oh, oh bleeding tissue Lord. bleeding tissue so this is the bleeding tissue which you know keeps moving and keeps wetting and every time so the bleeding tissue applied with this let it sit till you get the colors you're happy with pull the tissue back off and it's permanent I went over watercolor on top of the bleeding tissue and it and it didn't move it and it didn't move at all. So I love that. So I'd say we all need to experiment with this paste and see what the list of the pros and cons are. I already own it. So I want to see what the, now are the pros and cons are. Sharon loves this. She uses it a ton. She puts layers upon layers upon layers of paper, this book she's doing. And then, but she then goes over it with acrylics. It's totally perfect with acrylics. I learned it moves, it moves with water. I mean, water, watercolor. I think any sort of liquid you put on here, I don't care what it is, it's going to make, the, it's going to move with this don't want the wiggle don't use it but if you want to do like i did and and mush it and move it and mold it and use it to your advantage to blend it to make your napkin look more natural on the page um it worked quite well so i mean like i said it doesn't look like a big square napkin stuck there it looks like it's part of it and i like that so yeah, I, think, with your new products. I think it's learning to, you know what it's going to do. And just when it was, and I scooched it and then I let it rest. And then when it got hard and dry again, I went over again with the color, went, worked in another area until I got it. And that way I didn't like get it messed up. If that makes any sense. But this, yeah. this is a beautiful, fun, um effect for bleeding tissue that you can make it permanent with this stuff that was my fun find of the whole thing i find that's experience. awesome because tissue bleeding tissue paper is not permanent right and remember, everybody needs to remember too each each paper is going to react differently so i think we need to use this and uh if anyone who has purchased this janet has eileen has i haven't used this and use this for different things and let's do a list of pros and cons of this you know just to say look this is yeah, the, compare it off. If you do this you may not want it but if you like to do this you may want it so we should do a, a pro and cons of this and make a list of what works and doesn't work because i the bleeding tissue worked beautifully and it made it permanent look how pretty this looks because that's what I was wanting was to get the effect of the field all the way down. And that's why I put it on there. And then I was like, wait a second, this is on here really well. And I pulled it and it was permanent. I was <laughs> elated. It was permanent. And I could go on top of it with watercolor and it was permanent. I was elated that that happened. And I, I, like I, also, I also played this tree with the crackle paste right on top of the bleeding tissue. No issues whatsoever. Then when I was putting down the brown um, paint or uh, watercolor on it, it didn't it didn't affect didn't move it doesn't move it at all. And then I was able to because this is um, gouache, I was able to layer the other colors on top because gouache is uh, more opaque. You know what I mean? So I have a yeah. question, Colleen. Sure. Um, did you? Okay, so you did the bleeding tissue. 
Did you put a napkin then over the bleeding tissue after it dried? No. Okay. That I, I put it with the tissue and I pulled it off. It was still wet. Okay. I threw okay. it away. And it and it uh, when I was happy with the color it left behind, I threw it away. Okay, because I think I want to try the bleeding tissue and then different papers glued on top of that and see what happens, like the napkin, the tracing paper, the, <laughs> the rice paper, and see what I should be the tester. <laughs> oh. I say, uh, if anyone who, uh, I'll thank you. I did try to explain it well to everybody. Thank you, Sharon. I wanted to to understand uh, that what well, my experience with it is. Right, Elizabeth. Pros and cons to it, and be aware it will move. I don't. This was watercolor. Whatever is liquid, will move it. So just be aware. Of that. So let's say you get this done, and you want right, to seal right. this in. I would be hesitant to even lay a varnish on top of this to be truthful. I think if I was going to seal this in, I would spray it and then I would spray it instead of rubbing the, the, spray it at the end. Yeah. I would spray it at the end. If you're concerned, like if you wanted to seal this in because like the crackle paste, if you don't want this to crackle any further, I would, because of this paste, it moves with liquid. I would just spray it in put a spray sealant on it. And then if you wanted to go over top of that with a liquid varnish, I think it would be good, but I would be hesitant to actually to, to, to do that, honestly. So this ended up being um, a fun pages to make because I used acrylic, crackle paints, gouache, napkins, bleeding tissue, um, a little bit of Posca and, um, and then, you know, and then the cute little door and image I found for from you know Catherine's book. The ad is just fun. Okay, Sharon said she seals with deco art triple trickle triple thick. God, we can, none of us can talk. I am I've got a massive headache. <laughs> I don't know about you. <laughs> now I'm just tongue-tied. <laughs> I'm just tongue-tied. Okay, so I want to do real quick is I want to see if this is going to move because this has been like this for days. So let's just see. Uh, let's just see if this moves or not. Now, in, in Sharon's defense, Sharon has not used this with watercolor or any water stuff. So she's happy with the product. She uses it with acrylic. And, and I, again, liked it, asked her about it and purchased it. So she didn't, you know, so I don't blame Sharon for anything didn't make us buy it we chose to buy it okay so <laughs> here is one i did like and it's been sitting there since tuesday right or tuesday night let me clean let me clean off my thing it's still got stuff on it hold on, hold on. i want to see if this moves on the glass scene or this is the glass scene days later let's just see this is the napkin with this with the distress so let's see if it moves. Oh, yes. Here's something interesting, Colleen. Elizabeth K said Pet petroleum jelly might be a good sealer. Has anybody used petroleum jelly as a sealer? That's true. Or uh, I guess, or the wax. The candle wax. But the, that'd be right. The, can the um, candle. No, oh, the, the wax. Yeah, but you might have to be careful how you put that on if you brush it on. Yeah, we'll play. We can all play and see, but um, I've never even I've never heard of using petroleum jelly as a sealer. Yeah, Tim Holtz has something like this too. Um, the microglaze. I wonder how that would be. Oh, I don't know. Microglaze remind me reminds me of it says use sparingly. Um, it, it is a smudge resistant and waterproof finish, can be buffed to a gloss, protects inks, dyes, paints, acrylics, watercolors, okay. and ink printing. So this um you can see what it looks like. It's just a it is just basically like a soft wax. So that could work like the Vaseline maybe. 
Okay. Well, uh, Vaughn said petroleum jelly won't dry because it's made of oil and it won't Okay. Dry. So maybe something like this is better. And Tim also has a version of this. I can't find it offhand, but I have it somewhere. But he also makes a um, thing like this one. This is the, probably, a, this was one Paula recommended forever ago. And it's still good. I've had this for, I've had this for years. I think I'd be leery of anything that you rub on. Well, that's true too. Yeah, you know, I think like you were. I think you made a good point. Maybe a spray, but a spray for sure. Just to, like I would say, if you're going to test it out, maybe you want to put it, test it out on a piece you haven't finished. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're not worried about. Okay, now this yeah. is on. This is the napkin with this on glassine paper. Okay, with the embossing. This has been here since Tuesday night. So it's really dry. So it's really, really dry. So look, I'm doing this. I'm wetting it. It's not moving at all. So it could be that you need to leave this stuff dry for days and days and days instead of hours like I did. Uh, or it could be because it's glassine paper and not watercolor paper. And the other would be paper. So again, I think before, you know, depending on what you like to, what you use in your art and what you want, you know, I think this just needs to be practice and um, see what it can and can't do. Hold on, I'm looking for my other, my other piece so we can test it. Um, I just packed it already. I literally sat the whole pile over here. That didn't move at all. Yeah, because I was watching um, Shauna's the other night. I thought hers just, the whole thing came off. So I don't, may, it, maybe it is the. Um, here it is. So the, here's the B paper. The time. Here's the B paper with, with the napkin. With the pace that's banded. Um, and I'm getting in there, say, like I was when I was doing this with the napkin. I was like trying to put the watercolor overlapping the napkin. Um, it moved it. It's not moving at all. There's no movement, none. Hey, Sharon, how long did you leave yours to dry before using other layers? So this has been on here since Tuesday night and it yeah. doesn't move at all. It could be that it has a long drying time. So I would say if you're going to use it with water, I would say if you're going to use it with water, you may need to leave this. And if you're going like um, doing this on, on stream, obviously you can't, you know, leave it for days. But if you have the time, this, yeah. this is this is on here. It's not moving. That actually was a gouge that was already there. So it's not moving on the B paper and the, the wax paper. The ones, this is the only other napkin things I've done. So what I could do, we have, I have tons of napkins. Just put some napkins down on mixed media paper, uh, watercolor paper, yeah. maybe a tag and different surfaces, test to see if it's surface related and then time related. Right. But, so I know, because that's, that's her process. I'm just trying to think like, so just I'm just saying longer. This, this may or may not work for certain people. So I want to put that out there, but it did. But if you are going to do it right away, you just needed to make work at your advantage. Now, how this made the, uh, the the yeah. tissue paper ink permanent was magical. Just saying. So I bet there's other things we could try. It, it made it magical, and it it just it was permanent in an instant. There was no waiting. It was permanent, and it, as soon as I pulled it off, because I was like uh, like wiping it to see, it was just instantly permanent. So I love that with the bleeding tissue. So. So I think here's that. another point to Colleen. Sharon says she works at on four or five things at a time. So hers is it's sitting a while before she goes on top too. 
And that's right. It depends, like how much water, how yes. much, what, so what, what, what medium you're that. using, et cetera, et cetera. So I think because it's not a guarantee, you should just be leery. And when you use it or do budget testing before you use it on anything you care about. I mean, I didn't want my page to be messed up, but you know, again, I just made sure that I was careful and it turned out fine. And I know, um, Shauna, I mean, Shauna was really, <laughs> I mean, she, you know, how Shauna always has a plan, how she wants it to work out. I actually loved her background that she did. But at the end of the show, I loved how her background looked. But anyway, but I but I know that frustration when you um, when you um, want something to go a certain way and it doesn't. But oh, you're well watching. Yeah, I don't, don't want you. To, I don't want. I don't want. You should not get the like any repercussions from this. I don't think you will or you have. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying that you know. Be careful what you do and et cetera, and what someone else does, and you know, everyone just needs to just be nice. Yeah, be careful. Be careful because, okay. and like what Dar said too, we're all using different paper, different, different medias, exactly. And while well, like that one piece alone, I used, I used uh, gouache, crackle paint, and acrylic and the ink uh, tissue paper all on one piece so it, you know with it, so it, it also depends yeah so i wanted to show you guys the dilution cloud sheets we're finally getting these i'm sorry my well i know we have till two so i never like worry about you know our time because we, we stream till barb comes on um here is the faces Oh, I love those. This is in the one pack. The circles. These would be good. These would be body. Hi, Teresa. Thanks for See you later, Teresa. Have a good nap. Aren't these pretty, Dar? Yeah, I think these are really pretty and fun. All these could be body shapes. Like this could be the body, so which I think that's what she's intended yeah. for. Look at these, like how much time it would take to put this together yourself. Look at that. <laughs> how fun. She probably just has all this in her book and she cuts out pieces from it. Yeah, and it's already done for you. You just get to put it together like paper dolls. And I, and I really like that you could put this together like paper dolls, you know? So... Hopefully she's coming back to my um, my scrapbook store. She usually comes every year or every two years. This might be the year she comes. <laughs> this one's really different with the arms on the back. I, of I like that though for collaging. That's that's great. With yeah. Scene pictures and stuff. Where'd you get this? Is is this from uh, Xandra or Joggles? I got this from Joggles. I don't remember if Xander has these now or not. I don't think she has them yet. Or if she's going to get them. I don't think she had them. I bought these, um, I think, last week. Oh, so fun. fun. Look at this one. She has some really cool images. Just, I mean, these would be fun to play with. I love uh, paper dolls and I love collage. So this looked like so much fun. <laughs> this is appropriate for right now. Probably wasn't intended when she made it, but just saying. Um, but like, look at here with uh, where she changed the eyes and she colored her hair and then she added the feet on top and the hat. And then she put that, like, added this in her hand. And yeah, there's some neat ideas in here. If you like collage, you'll like this. Oh, here we go. I got to use the, I gotta use the rooster head. I might be the first one I'm going to use. There's a rooster head. Oh, look, there's me. Except that she opens drinking Coke and not Diet Dr. Pepper. Well, darn it. <laughs> um, this has got some really fun collages in it so if you like collage and you like to uh have fun this is a fun pack <laughs> i love to have different things to play with i love paper i love having different things to play with 
Okay, so this is still the same pack. Look how many you get. I haven't even got this second. This is one pack. It's 24 sheets in this pack. These are little squares. These are more like mixed media houses. Oh, let's see. The, can you go back and get Colleen? I'm sorry. Okay. Just to the faces one. See, so yeah, I got this from Joggles and okay, I don't know where stamp away is. You'll have to, you'll have to put six. that one. That one. The, the, that one. Yeah, I just wanted to see that one. On Twitter, um, Pam, you'll have to let me know where that is. This one's neat. This one's got um, just there you go, a bunch of uh, heads to add for bodies. And then again, these could be used for coins, ATCs, your journals. Again, these are, I know these are in here for bodies, skirts and stuff like that. Here's this one. There's another, this is another version of that. This might be a repeat. Is this a repeat? This might be a repeat. Or different size, maybe. Oh yeah, you're right. It's a small. Okay, these yeah, are repeats. Awesome. Thank you. These are repeats, but smaller versions. Yeah. Oh, that's so that, cool. that actually is a good idea too. And these are some of her little uh, stencil people of her kids, which I actually have. Yeah. See, these are the same things but smaller. Thank you. Because I'm like, are you not familiar? Yeah. All smaller versions. So that's nice. You get two different sizes. Oh, I'll have to get some of those. I took a class from her with a, and we made an art journal and surprise, surprise, I never finished it. But I think mm -hmm. we're going to get some of these and finish it with these cutouts. <laughs> elephant on an eye. Why didn't I think of that? I love elephants. I know. Why didn't I think of that? So this is, uh, this is set two. This one is set, uh, this one is set one. And here is the body. Uh, this one has, some of these are, you know, could be cut out or used differently. I'm not sure. Use your imagination. Oh, look, you could give your, your uh, heart-shaped bodies. Because uh, you remember the um, Jane Davenport where she did the heart-shaped people? Oh, yeah. Kind of made me think of that when I see that. Um, oh, look at the dog on the mushroom. Seriously cute. Some mittens. Look at she, that one. She just added tears and eyelashes, this magazine image. These are even good for inspiration on what you can cut out and collage, too. I agree with what you can do with, <coughs> your, own, with your own magazine images. I like hear she added candies in the top of a head and cool. then doodled the rest. This one's funny. So like I said, this one, she's got an upside down flower on her head. How cute is that? And there's the stitches. That's from her new stencil. And then uh, I think it's just a matter, of, you know, she's got such a great imagination. She, uh, uh, when you just love to be able to think like this. If you like this kind of art. Now, if you don't like this kind of art, and you don't want to think this way, then you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> whatever your thing is. And that I is like, cool. I love all kinds. I love of art. So I love it all. So you'll see me do a little bit of this and a little bit of that because I do love it all. So I don't stick with just one style or one kind of art. I would get bored really quick. Yeah, me like, too, Pam. I do like her products. I don't like, to, I don't, yeah. I get bored and I don't want to get bored. They're so different. They are. These are these are just. This one reminds me of the kiss. Yes. Yeah. The group kiss. 
<laughs> and this, now here's the bodies. I almost feel like both having both kits, uh, if you can afford it, both kits are nice to have. Because then you can put the heads on the bodies. Yeah. And or either you can find your own heads in magazines. Well, that's true, too. You could add your own on there. That's a good point. You don't have to use hers. You could add your own. Yeah, put those in. This is an idea of how she cut off the head, and then she just, like, colored over the body and just do, you know, with pens and inks and change their, their clothing patterns. Um, this one, to this, you can cut out these, put on your borders. pages. These would be borders. And she has some men on here. God, there's not a lot of men in this. Because I probably wouldn't use, I, that'd be the last one I would use. You're not going to do a man book, Colleen, after your yeah, girl book? Yeah, I don't think a man book appeals to me. <laughs> Although that one might be a man, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, again, these are could be ATCs, backgrounds, cutouts. However you want to use them, you just cut out the words. Use your imagination. But, yeah, these are fun. And they smell good, too. Do you know what I was saying? Oh, yeah, they smell good. If you had smell -o vision now, you would really like this. It, it smells really good. And then, then we go into the smaller the smaller versions of what we just looked at. So you get two chances. So then you could have them like a large head and a big body, big body, small head with all these, with the, with the different sizes. I think these are... These are fun. Okay, so I looked at these and looked at these, and I'm like, I'm gonna get them because they're so quirky. Like it's 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 so fun because it's like, um, like I said, it's like doing paper dolls, and it gives you ideas for what you can do. So let's do that. So I thought I would just play with the rest of the time we have an hour and twenty minutes till Barb comes on. So I'm going to just do is put some sprays down and just play. So I think, I think I'm going to do is use some of my um, <coughs> Art by Marlene um, mask for backgrounds and put some of those down. Oh, I ordered some Art by Marlene uh, die cuts, cutouts. Oh, okay. All right, so I think I'm going to work in this one today. This is a Master's Touch mixed media book. That's one I did on um, New Year's Eve with Chaos. I'll skip ahead so I don't mess it up. <laughs> work on some new pages. I might do that. I might just, yeah, work on that way. I liked how that turned out. All right, so let's just see what we can do here. I have one large book. Why do I need a larger book? Andy, I have one size bigger. But it's way bigger, so I think we'll have more room to play. So hopefully it'll hold up. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. to put everybody on. Thanks, Lori. No, that's okay, Colleen. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to be gluing down stuff you, and collaging. You want to direct me. <laughs> <laughs> I was enjoying watching. I was interested in the, um, the glue stuff. Right? They're really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my sketch paper book because it's huge. Uh, it's thin, so maybe it's going to warp a little with some sprays and stuff, but, you know, who cares? So 
And we'll do some mask and glue some body parts on here and see what we come up with. Okay, one more thing I did get, which I'll show, I'm gonna, I'll splat some color in, mm -hmm. is I did get the, Di speaking of Diane Reevesley, hmm. I got her new dilution paints. Oh, you did. Okay, yes. Play with those. So and they will, and I'm glad I got them because then I ordered the um, the Art by Marlene stuff. And these are like Art my, by Marlene colors. So they'll be good to have with her stuff. Oh, that's true. I've been leery about buying those. I'm so like afraid after the, I threw out all my tubs of paint of hers. Okay, so they're smaller, so they're you only get an ounce, but they're cheaper than two. I think they were two ninety nine a bottle. So you know you you'll use it up before it goes dry. So they oh, are that's tiny. A, well, that's a good point. That could be why they. That could be one of the reasons why they made it smaller as well. Right, because it was in such a big container. Yeah, and, and they all, this way, and all, and all of them dried out. They all dried out. And there is one more color. I couldn't find it in my bag. So hopefully it's in a different bag that's upstairs. But um, what I'll do is I'll just throw down some color with some uh, with a roller on a bunch of different pages. Oh, and then that cool. way you guys can see the color. They are happy colors. <sighs> my mini roller. Okay, this one. Ugh. All right, I'll be back. I have to run upstairs. Get my Jack, stay. I'm going to do some sprays with the square ones, and then I might come in. I could just, I might just, let's do something crazy. Let's just, I don't know what the heck it's going to even look like. Let's just overlap and see what happens. Maybe some paint too. My berry sprays and paints. I'm trying to think. Um, Okay, so Lori said Jack should do some art. I don't know. Does this look like a dog who wants to move around and do some art? <laughs> That's what Jack is doing right now. <laughs> yeah. He's not going to be popping up to do art anytime soon. <laughs> Aww. I know it's so cold. It's in the twenties today and windy. You put them in bottles, your jars of paint in bottles. Wow. So you saved them, Pam. Wow. My were all like terrible and dried out. And that ah, is what happens when you get permanent spray and they're clogged. You get splotches. So far I'm like uh, art sprays but this they get splotchy when they get clogged which is the issue i have with these being permanent yeah then, then you have it that when they start doing that then it's time to clean them out which is a pain but it's a pain in the you know what for sure but when they're not i mean i still like them where's my spray box i'm getting it everywhere and i just spent hours cleaning hold on <laughs> I used my brain here. <laughs> hours and hours cleaning last night, which I started my stream off with, and then I'm going and spraying everything. Hold the fort. I'll leave all that there. Uh, I have to say, the Ranger products are not good. They shouldn't leak. 
because they really, it's really hard to open them the first time. Okay, so I did use them yesterday on my jelly plate and I liked them. And I think I'm just gonna drip some, just gonna, oh, I'm gonna take this cap off. Jack's not going to live with anybody else. <laughs> it's not even working. God. Uh, Sorry, Lori. Not going to happen. Yeah. So they are bright and fluorescent. Just put a little bit. I'm just going to do this because they're clogged, which is why I don't like these sprays. They're they clogged. I like that they're permanent, but I don't I don't like the fact that they clog. Yeah. I really I spend so much time I um having to clean already. I don't really want to be cleaning sprays. Yeah, that's the bad thing. I really don't. I mean I spend so much time like just uh like yesterday, you know, just getting all the paints and sprays and to get on the floor and everything else that's up here, but also um just the regular stuff, dust, <laughs> dust, dust. There is all you know. So yeah, I don't, I don't like the idea of having to spend time cleaning uh, clog sprayer. So that's why I generally don't do it. Um, there was a woman, the woman who runs our our art journal club. She had six of the sprays. She got to demo. And she says they haven't clogged yet. That's the um, the uh, Dina sprays. Dina's okay. Uh, those scare me because of the fact that they stick your fingernails and stuff. Oh my god, my hands are always a mess. I'm terrified of getting that. And I have to wear gloves every time I use them. And I don't like. I don't care the idea that I got to wear gloves too. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, the paints dry pretty quick, I have to say. That was a thin layer. So here's the bright yellow. This one actually sprays, so I must not use it much because it's orange. <laughs> this one actually works like it's supposed to. Seth's or Diane's, Dorothy? I know Diane says hers aren't supposed to. I don't know if they're guaranteed, but um, I don't see if you're using a spray, acrylic spray, it's got to eventually clog unless you're really meticulous about cleaning them. I I kind of think that as well. Like this one, I just poured out on my mat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just poured out my spray on my desk. Because uh, I took the cap off again. I should not own anything that's dangerously messy. Just saying. Yeah. Knowing my stuff as I do. Um, yeah. <gasps> Ooh. That was. This is my weird. It sprays, but it sprays weird. Unless it's now not going to spray. Oh, and it's the other one. Okay, let's see what these look like. Right. Ooh, I don't mind that at all. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. And I like I, her arms. Um, I love her stencils. I'm going to open up my book here and slap them in some other pages oh my gosh i haven't even used my stencil girl stencils the past two months uh yeah i want to make that i love the folk art one with the sewing i haven't i've been busy i've not done it either i have them laying out so i don't forget yeah i've got them out on my mile long list of things to do right i know okay all right i'm liking the bright colors
How'd they look, Nana? Alright, I did use the pink. It must be the purple. I can't. I left, or it must be at the bottom of my bag. They're burnt. Yeah, and I and I actually do wipe these off the at least the marabou's every time I use them, and they still clog. Oh, really? You're good about. See, I'm bad. I try to wipe them, but I I end up forgetting something. It didn't. It didn't, uh, it didn't help. Let's put it that way. It didn't okay. help. Like it, they still got clogs. It's whatever is makes it permanent doesn't play well in the bottles, you know. So or with the nozzle. That's a great, that's yeah, a great idea, really Helen. Huh? Did you see what Helen, um, Helen says she gets a regular cap to put on and then she just tosses the spray cap in the hot water and lets it, and then let it dry and then lets it soak and then let it dry. Just um, hot water. Yeah. So okay. she takes another cap, puts it on the paint and then sticks the spray. I could try that because I've, I don't like the I don't like the idea of just standing there trying to like get water into it and spray it and water into it and spray it and get clean. Yeah. These are bright. If you like bright colors, these are they're fluorescent. They are, look fluorescent for sure. They are cool though. I'll let them dry so you don't get mud. I yeah, they are. They do them. appear to be very matte, even though they're vibrant. Yeah, I agree. Hi, Christine. Interesting. I'll have to um, check them out. All right. Let's see if we can find some images we may like. And I also could go over top if I need to turn this down with like a another stencil in black. Let's see if we can find some images we like here. Yeah, me too, Sherry. I go through every once in a while with my uh, the uh, my sprays, you know, my ink sprays, and um, clean the caps. Because I think too, if you don't use them in a while, too, even if you clean them, it dries up inside. True. Okay, there's the blue. I like that. Over here. Ooh, that looks like a piece of candy. <laughs> no, like, like it's twisted here. Yeah. <laughs> it does. All right, and then, oh, I haven't used orange yet. That was the pink and the yellow that made the orange. Where's the orange? And this, I hope I find my purple. I'll be mad. If I left it, hopefully somebody grabbed it. You think you left it at the at the place? I might have. It's, I'm hoping it could be at the in my at the bottom of my bag. It may be in another pouch or something. Okay. But um, I did buy all six, and I know I used the purple yesterday. So and it does have a little. BB in it, so it mixes up good. They are right. <laughs> Get these troll candies. <laughs> Check. No chew. Don't chew. Yeah. 
Okay, so there they are. Nice and bright. Maybe I'll take one of her stamps and stamp on top. That part's going to be a little fuzzy cut, and I'll have to use like a, I'll have to use a straight edge to get in there. Yeah, that's the only thing. I wish they were, you didn't have to fussy cut them. Yeah, I kind of wish these were um, already cut like, out. Like the, like Marlene's books. Yeah. Like, you know, where you, mm -hmm. but I'm sure that would, you know, raise the price tremendously. So, and you want to yeah. get as many. So, in that case, that's going to look good on that page, though, with colors. That's what I was hoping. We have this crazy kiss girl. I'm going to try and fill this up some more. Well, maybe at least maybe set sprays won't like stick to your nails and stuff like, um, Diane's are. Yeah. Once I heard it sticks to your nails and you got to like yeah. um, use nail polish remover to get it off and stuff. I was like, ooh, that scares me, you know? Yeah. So I'm just waiting for everybody else to buy them on YouTube and then uh, <laughs> I'll wait and see what they all say. <laughs> If you like bright colors, these are good. Yeah, I don't know. Those are really bright. I'm not into the bright, so no, I may steer away from. Style. I may steer away from those. Although I do like that they're in, they're in um, they're in a smaller container and stuff, and they will at least last and not dry out, and your money won't be wasted. So, I would say, and if you wanted something, if you wanted colors to use with the art by Marlene, too. That's true. She does it for us specifically. That's true. Because I think didn't Lena say she was going to get them because she wanted. She's been looking for those bright colors. She brought some watercolors that had um, that had the fluorescent. Fluorescent is what she got to be like Marlene. She found some watercolors with fluorescence, which are really hard to find. She said. All right, I'm just gonna play around. Well, the good thing about this is you don't have the white edges because you can you can cut them off as you cut. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like with some of the die cuts or stickers, you end up with white edges. So I would say this is a pro. You know, you can cut that off, but then the con is you got to cut them out. <laughs> I know. And with some of those with the white edges, I end up cutting the white Yeah, off. so the pros and cons to everything, you know. So even when it comes to die cuts and stuff like that or, yeah, there's like this. I get to cut it out, but then it's like, but then, you know, how much time do I have to spend cutting it out? So, okay, let me get my razor thing. Although I don't mind if I'm watching TV, I found with all the collage cutting I've been doing, mm -hmm. it's something I like to do watching TV. Oh, there's Lena. Lena, here's the Di here's the uh, Diane Reevesley colors. I know you were asking about them. I'm just playing around, seeing how they go on. Hello, Miss Lena. Yeah, the art by Marlene Pallet. There's one more. I can't find it. Must be in my bag upstairs, the purple.
Okay, I usually do this when I'm testing out watercolors, end up with a background of all the colors on a page. The acrylics are different, they want a little different, obviously. Let's do some more green. Oh, hold on a second. I got a call. I got to take. Oh, how was Cass's um, stream yesterday with the file folders? That's what I missed. Oh, Colleen's muted. Okay, so guys in chat, tell me who's working on the file folders. The file folders were brilliant. I want it. That's I, that's probably what I'm going to watch today is um, Cass's Cass's stream from yesterday because I want to start on that. I think that'll be okay. It was great. Her file folder was great. Okay, Eileen's working on hers. Who else is doing? I saw Terry Lutz had done stuff. Nana loved it. Oh, good. Oh, Lena did a February file folder. Cool. Oh, good. Yes, Lena is going to stream on Tuesday at 1 o'clock and work on her file folder. So I bet everybody is going to be very happy about that. Okay, so Lena said to Cass, uh, she did a lot of brainstorming and used all kinds of stuff from punches to dyes. Oh, cool. And no snow blew into her studio. Thank goodness. I feel, I really feel bad for Kathy. That's a lot of snow to have to deal with. Sorry, guys, muted. Oh, that's okay. I just, I'm glad I noticed because then I just I tried to. Yeah, I was talking to away. Did you watch? Um, did you watch Kathy's stream yesterday? I did watch her stream. Um, yeah, everybody yeah, said it was good. I enjoyed watching her uh, show how to to make the the file folders this shape and that shape and the layering and the the things. And Kimberly was saying that hers. She uh she was like mine's going to be very cool and very heavy or something. It was funny, oh, she, fun. you know, because of all the you know the thicknesses and things. Like she was saying that she thinks she's gonna like she's gonna load hers up. So fun! I can't wait to watch it. I can't wait to see what everybody does too. I know, Jan. Everybody's excited. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, because each month you do some different. So basically, she just finished her January journal, and then she's going to start on her February journal. So, who was that? Cast, cast, yeah. So that way, so that way we will have that way we will have we will have twelve folders. So very fun. Yeah, it will be fun. Okay, now I have an excuse for getting that Stamparia paper. I can use that on my January folder. I don't have to wait till next year. <laughs> oh, thank good. Always got to have a good reason to buy it. Ah, <laughs> yes. We need that that way. We have to justify it. We have to justify it, exactly. Okay, now I feel much better. You can justify a stamperie if you want to do a oriental folder. Oh, yeah. Then I'll have to get that one, too. <laughs> as long as I'm ordering. <laughs> yeah, thanks for reminding me, Colleen. <laughs> yeah, she's like, use what you have. And then Eileen's like, I already bought stuff for my folders yesterday in chat and uh yeah she said her folders have already cost her a lot of money <laughs> yeah you know everybody this is a bad time Bye, of year. Corey, have a good day everybody's got to start using their stuff and stop showing new stuff is what we need to do <laughs> well i think it's worse right now with the, all the new releases it is slow up here soon i know i agree it's just because of all the new releases are all coming out. And then there is this delay with the new releases. So after all the new releases come out, there'll be a slowdown on purchases, except for books. Books are all year. <laughs> okay, cool. Look at this, Colleen. I think that's kind of cool. I just was splatting paint all over. It does look good. It looks like a, a fish, a mean fish with the mean, like a fish with a mean face. Up top. Oh, up here. Yeah, see, like oh, a fish. It does look like, like a fish. Like Rupee. I know I've seen real fish with that kind of face. Because he's like, like that cat can't eat the candy. It's and too big. That, <laughs> other, that other shape could be a surfboard. Oh, he, yeah. He, he, ate the, he ate the surfer. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I might do some mark making now on top of this. That would be interesting. Okay, cool. Oh, you did get your you did get some of them, Lena. You got four of the Diane colors. Oh, okay, you got that beside you because I remember she bought some watercolors that had fluorescence. Cool. You got this. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. I'm usually not a fluorescent. I mean, I like bright colors, but I usually don't get into the fluorescent stuff that much. The best ones were sold out. They went really quick. Wow. I think because if you liked her colors, you know, everyone's went bad. So everyone's like, oh, good. Paint is not, yeah, my other paint I threw out. So <laughs> I must get to. I think you're right, Eileen. I think 2020 is the year for Stamparia. They've been around for a while, but all of a sudden they're getting really popular. They've got lots of new products. Oh, I totally agree with that. Stamparia is just like out there. It got the nicest stuff. Yeah, I love the papers. All paper. of a sudden. Their papers are just heaven. They're just heavenly. Again, I will always, like I said, I love, I love paper. I love everything. So, um, I, I did love being a scrapbooker and amongst other activities when I was younger. But um, like cross stitching and junk like that. But like, yeah, I fell in love with paper with scrapbooking, and I think that's a uh, that's a love affair that will always be there. <laughs> which is why I think I like collage. Which I like collage because. Again, playing with paper. That's why I think I like it. Which collage is cool because it's, you know, the best of both worlds, right? Yeah. So you're fun of paper along with uh, artist paint supplies. I have to say, I'm having fun with my markers. 
it's funny because she was throwing out ideas at cash yesterday and and eileen's like use some stamps she's like oh yeah i got a ton of those i don't use <laughs> i know <laughs> Well, at least like I use those on all my stuff. So again, like, you know, I thought, you know, so she's like, again, it's fun when something stems like a, uh, an idea or joy of something you used to do or you have and you can, you know, again, fall in love with it all over again. Like why I bought the stamps in the first place and, and, uh, you know, why I like the, um, yeah, scrapbooking and fell in love with papers in the first place and that kind of stuff. That would be a good show to do. Everybody uh, take out something and everybody can say what they have. Like do, do, a, do a project, do a journal page with something you haven't used in over a year. And then everybody can post. That mm. might be kind of fun. That would be fun. I don't know how fun this is to watch, but I do. Um, I am enjoying uh, <laughs> these images and, and playing. I am with. too, Colleen. I like those. Aren't these fun? Just yeah. it, again, it's just it's just easy and fun, relaxing, relaxing art. You know, that's the same with this. I'm just like very relaxing. Throwing a page. So if you have a day where you want to create, but you don't want to like stress yourself out over it. This kind of stuff is awesome for that. It's like therapeutic. Thanks, Lori. Lori posted Barb's. As far as I know, she's streaming. I haven't heard other ones. Yeah, so Barb should be on at two, which is about 45 minutes from now. Assume she's well and assume she's gonna stream. So. Yeah, because she didn't she didn't stream last week, right? Yeah, she did last week. It was the week before. Week before, okay. Yeah. And the weeks are just zooming by. I know it. I know it. They sure are. Okay. See, this is stuff anybody can do. Just like I agree. Roll yeah. paint on a page, plop some lines from a marker down, cut some cut out some things that you like. It's fun. Doesn't have to be a big complicated project. Ooh. Just unplanned fun i was thinking this one would look good like coming out of here like you could have a skinny head oh, it coming, would. coming out and, of that one i might save that for that one that won't fit on this page That's and then it. you could do some of her um her you know the viney uh stencils that she has or uh stamps don't you have some of those viney stamps could be coming out of there too oh that's true that would be fun Thanks, Eileen. It's fun. It's just putting down color. And I think that's, I think that's enough. I don't think it, I think that's enough with the marker. Oh, now I want some of my new papers and stuff. I haven't, I wish, I can't wait till they get here. Waiting the hard part. I know, but it's Xander, so it'll get here soon. Oh, she ships fast. Yeah. Well, I should have to ship fast if it's not a busy time. Yeah. If it's a busy time, then they're, then they're not as speedy. So if it's like right now with all the new releases, they have not been super speedy. No, because they have so much going out. But they have so much going out that you really, you know, you kind of get it. So. Okay, so I think I might do is do, um, I feel like I need to ground the back a little bit with a dark. So I'm thinking I'm going to take, 
One of the other new, let me find it. Ugh. Get a, let's see, where is that? It's in the back here. That's why I stuffed it in my book. Hold on. I don't want to do is forget they're in here <laughs> and do a polyp where she finds she find her stencils and her books and she's like, I was wondering where that was. <laughs> then I could have have that behind her head. So the yeah. black circles you think I lean? Ooh. Yeah, let's see, that's a good idea. I was trying to think, I was thinking splots, but you're right, some circles. Huh, huh, huh. All right, let me go find my, let me get my circle thingies. Yeah, because I don't think I want stamps. I just want the outline of a circle. this but see now I'm thinking do I want black or just more more um look at this that's a good size or just fluorescent on top of fluorescent and then maybe some black blots at the end Hmm. Let me start. I am going to do some fluorescent and then I'll see if I want to add the black. <laughs> okay. Open black ones. Yeah, they'll all be open. All right. We just do a few in the fluorescent and then black on top. Oh, maybe a few black and then fluorescent on top, breaking up the black. Okay, I'm just talking to myself here. I was wondering. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Which I know, I'm like reading. No, it's just all <laughs> process. I'm just hassling yet. That's why I liked with uh, yesterday's um, cast was, you know, kind of. Uh, you know, going through going through her thought process when uh, she was picking out pencil or picking out papers and why she wanted to put this there or that there. And I know, and it's fun. I mean, it's cool too to be able to look at like through chat, like yeah, black ones, no brown. You know, it's like hmm, it's it gives you more to think about. No, the other Eileen and Janet. <laughs> Oh no, the Eileen and Janet that I hear in my head. <laughs> Dorothy, you guys are funny. Now this is, I love doing this online because like, we get such great ideas. Hopefully you guys do too. All right, we're gonna do a few black. And I think different sizes. All right, let me get some black paint. I should just I think that I would just keep the big black and white close by. Thank you. 
have black acrylic paint in their stash. <laughs> oh, it's somewhere there. Gotta have that. Oh, no, I'm gonna try to get my black paint off on that. I should not be moving to grab something. All right. This is what gets me in messy trouble is it sends hours cleaning afterwards. So, hey, Devin, welcome back. Cool. Oh, so you hadn't glued those down yet? Oh, no. Uh -uh. Okay. I know, because I just looked back. I'm like, did you start a new page? Or? Oh, thanks, Devin. Thanks for being here and letting us know you're here. We appreciate it. So Devin, what what have you what are you working on now? You've always got fun stuff that you post. I look for I look I love seeing everybody's stuff they post. I look forward to it too. I could be on Instagram forever. Oh, yes, I know I'm Scott on Instagram and Twitter. To look at. Exactly. Instagram more, and I I almost I'm like oh my god I got to go exercise now. Almost like. I was looking so much, I forgot what I needed to do. Huh. None of the other colors are like this, but the black is thick. Huh, weird. It like it's thick in the it's like stuck in the tube and none of the other colors have done that but the black one periodically I've got to go in and clean it out. It's almost like a paste. All right, let's see if I can get it out now. Hmm. Weird. I guess I could take it out of the box, make my life easier now in that spring. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think we have, I've got to get pizza sometime this weekend so I can get a big box. That's such a good idea. I just like spray that my cups and stuff that's holding things behind me, you know, they get sprayed and they're so pretty and cute when I bring them home and then they're on my desk for a while and they are no longer pretty. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, yeah. this is so cute. But after it's like been like sprayed and splotted, splotted yeah, I know. and everything else. Yeah. And then I'm like, you know, this cute little mug that I thought, oh, I'm going to put on my desk. Um, becomes disgusting and yeah, because I don't use a box. So that black is really thick. That's weird. I think I remember one of my liquid is doing this too. I wonder if it's just the what people use in their black paint. See if I can get this thinned up some. All right. There. Okay. All that for a few, couple black circles. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Let's do a bigger one. Let me test it first. Ooh. Ooh, I ripped his leg off. Hey, I tried uh -huh. yeah, be more gentle. Don't think, just put it down. One here. And then I'm going to do some different sized ones, smaller ones. You 
Yeah, it needed a little pop. Next she needs a creepy bug. I'm gonna give her some, I'm trying out some. Ooh, it is creepy but cool. Creepy cool with a heart. He loves her. <laughs> now, is that the, okay, that's the um, Marlene ones. Yeah, let's see if there's anything in here I could, uh, Ooh. I could incorporate into. Ooh, the love, maybe. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah, I was like, this is like how high in the black. Ooh, underneath her, see how her knee, how her leg, her knees bent? Yeah, right there. Cool. That's a good idea. That's an open spot for something. Yeah, That's cute. Or even down. I like it. It just it goes, yeah. Like that. Yeah, that's resting, cool. Resting her leg on the on the love. Uh huh. Good idea. Cute. It needs like too bad. There's not like black hearts. For some reason, black hearts I think would be cool. Yeah, I think so. It did. It, to tie in a black this black dog head we could float around uh -huh. <laughs> uh, i'm sure i could get some black deli paper card stack and uh, actually i'm sure i have some black hearts i could stamp too. yeah stamp some or even take a marker and draw some hearts or something oh my gosh that's true drawing <laughs> <laughs> drawing what That's all. That's beach stuff. Oh, fun! I can't wait to get mine. But what does that say? What are those words? Uh, life is a circle. The end of one journey is beginning of the next. I think huh. that that might be too small. But I see what you're saying. Like a nice quote would be good. Yeah, it just might look cool somewhere or something. An you know, airplane flying around. Let's see. Those are all so cute. New nice proof. There's always light after darkness. There's a black butterfly. Ooh, that might be cool. Small, but it is black and orange. A little bit of green. Let's see. Well, she does two pages of each, too, so there might be another one. Yep, there's another one under there. There you go. Ooh, and the little black flowers. Am I missing the black bars? Or? Wait, now, what are the... I'm pointing on the screen. Right where your finger is. Are those black or no? Oh, no. Those oh. are green. Oh, okay. I just thought they were. No, yeah, that's okay. I was like, did I miss black flowers? <laughs> Sorry. It's the butterfly kisses. That's in black. Let's see. There's some butterflies. Okay. Now. Let's see. Bring my camera down a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Love. Happy birthday. Um, Joggles had them, Sharon, but I don't know if they do anymore. Um, had what? That, that, uh, the die cuts. The yeah, I got the Joggles, but, um, I know check Zondra, if Zondra's store don't have it, check Joggles for sure, too. That's where I got mine. Is that yeah, I don't know if Zondra is sold out yet. Check oh, Zondra that's true. and Joggles. I, I found my joggles. I don't think they're sold out on joggles. So. Okay. But I know Xandra said her stuff was going fast. Devin's on what list is Devin on? Janet. I oh, Devin finished. I got to get going on my scavenger hunt. I've got a month. Yep, and I haven't done hardly anything in mine. I made, made the book and, yeah, <laughs> I made the book. <laughs> oh, I know. We're like, yeah, let's make the book for the scavenger hunt. Now I haven't done any. I have to start that.
I have our other die cut books. Let me, let me look in there a second. I haven't done this in a while. You know, stamped circles like this. All right, let's do some other colors. Yeah, it did need that black to break it up. But I do like the the fluorescent layers too, but I like that black on there. All right, clean that off. Now let's get some blue. Oh, okay, check out, go check out Devin's YouTube channel. She did a flip through, it looks like, I think, of her scavenger hunt. Okay. If you click the three dots by Devin's name, you will find her channel there. Yep. Is this all fish and stuff like that? Okay. And then, <laughs> house fell on there. All right. Oh, I want to make sure nobody's. Oh, Helen, hold on. Hold on. I promised Helen I would always look. For what? Oh, okay. Uh, Carol Vick asked where you got your flower stencil color. Yeah, I had I answered that. Oh, okay. So a little that was slow. a while ago. Poor thing. Oh. That's okay. Hey, I, I looked. <laughs> okay, you looked. At least yeah, I saw that earlier. Um, oh, good. Yeah, that's a, that was the um, art by Marlene stencils. I got it. Oh, uh, pick oh, up at Travel. I do love her die cuts. And then I think I'll do some more black after I do all the colors. All right, I need green. Um, she doesn't stream, Sharon. She does. She puts videos up, though. Hopefully, she'll start streaming. I do think that what did sell out on Joggles, which I figured would sell pretty quick, um, were these stamps. These sold out on Joggles, which I thought they would because they're really cute. Um, oh, those are cute texture ones. The Joggles is sold out of these, the texture clean stamps. I think it's very versatile. I mean, you can use them on anything, so all right. Um, oh, and I also got, let's see, depending on that, I forgot we could also use these, too. We don't like Inspire today. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, I ordered some of those. I'm like, I can't wait for those to come. These through. are really fun. These are, um, I ordered a second pack. I like them so much because I think they're, you'll be able to use them. Let me see if I find others I like. 
use these on certain things. Craft the yeah. mama. Let's see. I like the different colors, the black, the brown. Your imagination is your weapon. Destruction every everyday reality. <laughs> Let shit go. I like it. Oh, that's great, Sharon. Yeah, Sharon said, anybody want to try StreamYard? Come over. If that's the best way. Yeah, because uh, she does... Um, let anyone come in. She pays for StreamYard too. Um, she lets anyone come in and join in on her channel and uh, hang out with her. And you just want to talk and you not already you just want to talk or whatever. She loves company. Yeah, that's great, Sharon. I love StreamYard. It's worth. I'm happy I got it. Oh yeah, it pays for itself. Yeah, and you can use it really. I know I need to um I need to go in the Facebook group and see what new what things they've added if they you know if they've done anything more that we could use. Oh uh, yeah, I haven't seen anything lately come out, I, but I don't totally keep up with it either. Oh wait, hey guys, I want to try out streaming for Oh no, that's fine. No, Sharon, that's that's the best way to do it. Thanks, get on Sarah. with somebody. Get used to it. Yes. I mean that way you get, you know, you're if you're scared to stream, it's a great, it's a great way to um to start because oh. and now that you mentioned that, Sharon, don't anybody ever worry about saying stuff in um you know in uh chat i mean we're here to share ideas i mean if there's something we don't like we'll let you know <laughs> but yeah feel free you guys when you have ideas links anything post it don't you agree colleen oh yeah i totally agree but thanks for thanks for saying that though sharon but no feel free yeah no there's not a lot that's gonna bother me so okay more little black circles i think but i am gonna dry this i'll mute for a minute so i can dry this oh devin that's so funny you know what devin just said hmm? what? colleen your page looks inspired by the group kiss didn't you <laughs> did, did you just mention them earlier yeah i guess so maybe funny. i should put a, a kiss song Maybe a name of a song on here. Yeah, what are their what songs? The song, Lick it up. Lick it oh. up. <laughs> or go get their logo. Isn't there, don't they have the lips with the big tongue sticking out? Yeah, we'll have to figure out a kiss hit. Yeah. <laughs> Tore a leg a little bit. I got to do some patching. Yeah, we just, I think we surprised Sharon. We just dragged her, dragged her on. She came on and then she just went from there. Yes, yeah, Sharon loves that having initial, people um, on StreamYard on her chair joining her. And you can always get on there. And... All right, let's see. All right. She always says, come on in. That's why I pay for it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Sharon's very generous with her time. And it's nice. Once it's paid for, you're unlimited. That love thing is perfect. That love sticker underneath her leg. That was a great suggestion. That's perfect there. Helps. It just man, it just draws in the colors. From yeah, they're from the Italian stuff. Who knew? Art by Marlene and uh, Art by Marlene, Diane Reevesley, and Diane. Kiss. Yeah, like it all, <laughs> it's all coming together. You know, I get to work. I have to put in her hair, but. 
it's gonna blend in i'm gonna put it out here in the light part yeah the i mean it's funny we made all that mix art by marlene uh, mass stencils art by marlene love and butterflies and then the other is dilution so we combined all of our goodies which is the fun part when you get all this yeah. stuff is combining them you can combine the manufacturers it doesn't our artist doesn't have to be all separate isn't that great janet i know they do ask for feedback and i don't know if you've ever been on one of our shows um where we've i've actually both colleen and i've done this we've gone in if you see um on the screen below if you're streaming there'll be a help thing and um i've actually typed in the help and they've gotten back to me and fixed it while i've been on stream cool costume or hungry after their concert yeah and you, if you're having problems you can yeah do i mean they'll like they'll send you messages and talk to you um while you're streaming like when i had my when i lost my chat the one day which never happened before then I just had to, you know, let her go and come back and reboot and come back in. But I mean, I just want to let them know that that, you know, that happened. So and they they want to know because like if you know you were doing this for business, um, you know, if you were doing this for business sakes, you know, what I mean, that might be a really bad deal. So yes, there are different plans for Streamyard. You can stream yes, there are. free. But it's limited hours. I think it's twenty dollars a month. Um, then there's like the mid price. No, it's twenty hours a month. Then there's the mid price range. If you got in early, I think it was sixteen or fourteen, and I think now that's twenty a month. I pay there, twenty five a month. Oh, it's twenty five a month. Yeah. Okay. And then there's the professional, which is like 80 a month, which has all kinds of stuff. That would be if you're on LinkedIn or you're doing your yeah. business. It's definitely professional because I mean, I like that they, um, I like that they do this and gear for you know YouTube people can can use it, and as well as you know uh, businesses. Like it's not just like you know where you you stream booted us. You know what I mean? Right, because they just wanted the business. They didn't want the individual. And I like that they don't um, just cater. Um, they just don't, I don't think she just falls. It just disappears. Uh, they don't cater to just business. They take everybody. And I love that it's okay for the, you know, crafters and business people. And they take us all, you know. Two things. Let's see. Yes, Sherry. I do know Didi Catrone is teaching classes at Scrappy Chic. I'm going to do the one on Saturday. And then Sharon says, I just do it for fun to get folks in and talk in art. Same here. We just want it so we can do art, share art, inspire each other. Um, it's fun. You know, there's lots of tutorials. Enable each other. What? Enable. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't forget Don't the keyword. Enable each other. Make sure nobody, you know, is does not know any what the new products are. We wouldn't want anybody to miss that. Um, yeah, I'm kind of liking this. Okay, so a guy is going to be here any moment um, to uh, talk to me about replacing or fixing something here in the house. So. Um, I'm not sure if he's here because Spooky's barking. If I'm worried if he's here. No, it's UPS guy. So he said he'd be here around two o'clock. So I'm, which is, you know, so I'm going to be getting off here next probably five minutes, 10 minutes because Barb's coming on and I have a guy to talk to. That sounds good, Colleen. That works out perfect. I was glad he didn't wasn't getting here till later. So I was concerned he was going to actually get here much earlier before. Uh, the stream ended. I was just going to mute and go down. Oh, but, uh, anyway, just let y'all know I'm going to probably get off when uh, he, he comes up because I got to talk to him. And what uh, saying did you put on your girl? I put on her let shit go. Oh, love that. Love it. And then what's on the bottom? Inspire today. Inspired I today. like the flower. Yeah, I thought it would tie uh, by just putting this down here. It ties in the white here, and then you got the white here, the white here, the white here, and then you also have the black, the black, 
And then that pop of red. I'd love yeah, to pop yeah, red. Yeah, you're kind of, you're kind of, you know, making sure that it's not just all in one place. Now, if this was too busy, if this was too busy for you, um, before I had laid her down, I could have gessoed over this and lightened it up with gesso or um, uh, dilutions white spray. I could have I could have put that over top of it. If this is too bold for you, you can always gesso this. If it's permanent, is a permanent spray. You know, you could do the dilutions to like if you wanted to. But I would have had it done it before I glued all this down. <laughs> now, I'm not going to do that because I'm OK with it. But just saying, just giving you um, ideas and options. So I um, want my, so I was thinking to do some of the stuff that she did on hers is you could go in with your pen or a, a teaser pen or a gel pen or whatever you have. And then you could then go in like, and just, this is the fun part. So you can go in and start doing this kind of stuff to your piece, which is kind of time consuming, obviously. But again, like this is the little details. Let me hold this up. It just <laughs> adds that extra. See like that, it's subtle, but if you were sitting, if you came, this is more glowy than what it actually looks on here. And I could go in here on her shoe. Cause Diane, I mean, Deanne, I should say, um, is it pronounced Deanne or Diane? I get confused between Diane Reevesley, Dina Wakely. Diane and Dina. Okay. I know the spelling is different, but I mean, then you could always go in here like this. Yep. And and then you could start altering. You could start altering what she's already put on here. You don't have to leave it as it is. Matter of fact, I think you know she would encourage this. So, so then you could go in and especially easy on the black to add white to it. Hold on, my foot, her foot's coming up. Hold on, try not Oops. to touch that. So then you could go in on top of her die cuts and add some whites and doodles and go in here and. Which she, when she teaches her class, she does that a lot. You know, like she's giving you this, this fun, um, these fun die cuts to get your, you know, creativity going. And then you can, then you can go and then you can go in and then alter what she's already done. You don't have to leave it the way she's done it. Yeah. Just go in there and, you know, and I don't, you know, cool. again, like for her, I don't, you know, she would be, again would encourage this so then you can kind of make it your own if you went in here and did this on top of her die cuts too so oh my god colleen i'm seeing all kinds of stuff you can do on that see what i mean so not only you know not only can you alter the things i just put down right i can also just go uh go in here and and just um start outlining some of this stuff like yeah some of the stencil stuff some of the stencil stuff that i have in here you can go in there and start and start elaborating on that in white or black or whatever color um and so that way i could if i want to incorporate more black in here you know you could start doing that and you could also take her little um Marlene's little texture stamps and where I just lay those. You should, Kathy. Kathy Arbor said she should make a snow sculpture and dye it with magicals. <laughs> <laughs> so then if you don't want to do this stuff by hand, so then you, you would take her little um, texture stamps. And there's other play people that have done texture stamps. She's, you know, she's not the only one. It's just saying. So, but I'm just saying, it's grabbing it because it's here. I like it, et cetera. But you could just go in and add little stuff to it on top of it. So I think this is a, a page that you could, you could play with it. And then, then once you get to a point where you're like, I'm done, you may like later on look at it and go, wait a minute. 
maybe I could do this or maybe I could do that. So these are fun to do. So then you take her little, you could take her little texture stamp like right here. Not that I stamped that that good. Cool. Just start doing stuff like, cause again, this is like, this is fun, creative play. That this is, I'm not trying to. Yeah, see. just random. You know, like my other page where I was making it this Italian vineyard theme and I had to, you know, you know, I was making sure everything went together and everything made sense for that particular piece. And I did like a vineyard or whatever, but like this type of page is lends itself to um, this type of, of creating. Just random. Random fun. And it's good for your brain, I think, to just kind of do other things. Yeah, just let go and not think. Mm -hmm. So you can see just adding the little like, you know, stamps on there made a difference. So if you don't want to hand can do it so that's um something else you could do like that and then when i let that dry a few minutes if i wanted to i could come back in with um another a pen or a gel pen like and, and fill those in too so this would be something like you could leave out on your desk to play with oh i had the oh i had the green since there's a little green down here this is like a sparkle um uh, and tell sparkle pen yeah and get out your gel pens we've all got them oh my gosh yeah go in there and then i could just go around the little donut holes here oh and then i could go in here on her heel and add it here so then i got it in a couple different places right so then you're just adding again like the stamp led to oh maybe i want to add some some gel pens and Oh, just like a little it. bit more color. Cool. You know, so then you're going, it's really shiny. If you can see the Pentel, there you go. It's really, really glittery, these Pentel. Just these. more detail. Yeah, more detail. And, it, and adding that um, extra color, it, it draws your eye to, um, I don't know, just that one weird pop of color. And again, um, her one heel down here. So then you're going to add it here. Now that looks more, it's funny. This, this pen's so weird. It, it's green, but it kind of coming down turquoise. I know. Blue. I thought it looked more blue when you showed it. It's yeah, pretty. it is blue, but I mean, the actual pen looks green. Yeah. But the ink is coming out turquoise. So it's I thought pretty. I, was, I like it. So I thought I was actually using, but if you look in there, the ink looks turquoise. But the pen is green. See, I went with the assumption. But if you look here, I think this is purple and then that. Yeah, that'll be purple. Blue. That might be blue. Oh, yeah, because look at that one looks blue in the green. It looks blue in the purple, too. Huh. Interesting. And then this black should be sparkly. Okay, I think I saw a car. Let's see if that's coming here. We have a dead end street block turnaround traffic. Okay, he's here. I will see you guys later. Perfect timing. Have fun at Barb's. Thank you, Kathy. Thanks, Colleen. It was fun. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. See you Tuesday. See you later.